we are live. Oh, it did kind of cut my head off. Oh, bit. yeah. I squat down here. Hey, hey everyone. Yo. <laughs> I told her to move the camera, but she said no, it's perfect. But actually, it's going to be better because you'll see more on the table here. That's right. Um. Uh huh. Okay, sorry. I want to make sure y'all can actually hear me. Please, yes. uh, uh, signal for us, please. Thumbs up or moderator. Just I want to make sure okay. Can... I see. I hear it. Moderator, get in with me. Awesome. Let me know she's here. She's awesome. been looking forward to it. So, speaking of, we had a couple people comment earlier. And first was El Strange. Howdy, Lisa howdy, howdy. said, can't wait to see how y'all do this one. And she basically inspired tonight, yes, y'all. Awesome. Lisa, I blame yeah. you. Yeah, because I was with Lisa last week at the farm market, and that's where I got this, y'all. So excited. And then Air Fried Auntie, the wonderful <laughs> moderator, said, I need this tonight. Looking forward to seeing you all. Oh, we're looking forward to seeing you, too. That's really <laughs> awesome. Wow. Gazoo tight, he. Oh, what's that about? Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, do your intro. Welcome to the wonderful world of hungry heat. I am not a classically trained chef. I am a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is my wife. It's sensational Shelly eats steak, aka the warden. Together, we also like to call the Friday Night Feast. This sounds every Friday night at 6 30 Central. We'll cook up an entree, make a couple little snacks, show you how to do it. Then we spend the rest of the evening just chewing a fat with all of our friends in the Hungry Horde. Hope you can tune in sometime. Love for dinner. Yes. Tonight's dinner, honestly, a little throw together. It was just some stuff we had around the house and some stuff she found at the market. Yes. This when we were hanging out with Lisa. Yes. You know, Okay, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to I'm messing it up. We just see your cup. Oh, we're good. That's on the two. I want to go to the five. Oh, okay. Connecting, connecting, checking. It says checking the quality. Oh, okay, good. Connected <laughs> without internet. Why? Why, why am I without internet? I don't know. Because it's connected over here. Connected. So it just, I don't know. Check one, two, one, two. I'm saying. We hear you. Oh, good. Waiting for connection. This is what Iron Room says. Huh. Well, here. Please wait. Boom. 
There we go. I went through more patient on okay. Yeah, you know and how now, it is. Because I touched it. Here you were just looking crack. at the cap check. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shauna. Can you hear me? Yes, I see. Now I'm fully in camera. I don't have to keep squatting. Because what we remember, we said our cyclorama is in the background, okay? That's what that's called. We, our focus point is the shell. Once it's all on camera, you're in camera. Well, I had it in camera, so I don't know what happened. You had part of it. You had from the star down. Your name wasn't all the way in. No, when I focused it in, it was my name. Mm. So I, I don't know how it moved. But it's good. We're good now. Because I We can circle. Oh, I know. You do everything perfectly. I, I, got, I got the magic touch. But I say... But anyhow, was that one song touch too much? Sorry, y'all. We made a faux pas and didn't double check. I saw the internet was fine, and yeah, it was <laughs> anymore. But I did get a new roll this week. Oh, a roll of toilet paper. <sighs> anyhow, so yes, I'm hoping. When Renee can, maybe late October, early November, we could do another trip to Austin so we could do the KG barbecue. If only there was some special occasion on I late know. October. I don't know why. Mm. I don't know why mm. we want to do it then. Wow. Hmm. But wouldn't that be fun? We could go for like a Friday and Saturday night, eat at KG on Saturday, maybe again on Sunday. <laughs> we could do the farmer's markets with the dogs. And yeah, wouldn't that be fun? And then yeah, we so we've been looking and, and and scheduling and planning some more for our trip next year and already looking at the hotels that we're gonna stay at and kind of getting the prices. And we're waiting to actually book anything because we're waiting to see if any specials are coming. Right. So like this last weekend with IHG, it was double the points if you booked a two night stay. So I ended up getting like 8,000 points for the two nights. So that was pretty good. And we're going to be loyal to them because we'll get points off of it. So that's pretty much where we're going to stay the whole trip. Yeah. And we're also going to make sure that all the ones we're staying at um, include free breakfast. Because uh, especially then I'll probably be able to get my eggs out of the way. Because y'all know yeah. how important it is for me to eat my eggs every morning. Right. So like at the hotel this weekend, he got his boiled eggs. It was wild Each because day. I ended up bringing eggs with me. I didn't know they were going to have it. So now we're going to make sure if they have breakfast, they're probably going to have it. Like you showed me one of them we stayed at last time. They actually had a little special uh, mini fridge set up in the dining room with had the eggs in there. Yeah. So how Holiday Inn does theirs is they have like a mini fridge with the dairy, like the different milks and eggs. And usually in there at other holiday inns, they'll have like a bowl of boiled eggs. Was really cool. And I think they, peel. no, I don't think they peel them? theirs because they keep fine. it in the fridge. That's fine. I'll just get a bowl and just use that for trash. Yeah. Yeah. So we usually do that. And that'll be perfect. That'll be one less thing we have to pack ahead of time. And I was telling her if they end up not having any, when we leave, we can just hit a grocery store and I'll go grab some if we need to. But uh, so anyways, that's what we're doing. But this weekend, let's focus on right now, not 11 months from now, even though 11 months is I so exciting. I can't do that. But and that reminds me, make sure you are part of our Facebook group, yes. Hungry Horde Headquarters, because we have posted there our, our, our itinerary yes. for next year. So the if tour you're list. yeah, our tour list, meeting the horde 2025. So if you're near any of those cities on the tour list, make sure you meet up with us. Yes. Okay. That's our like invitation. So y'all know. To put us on your calendar for any of those dates you choose. Now, one special thing for those that are in our Columbus area, we are having a special meetup on that Saturday, which is again on the itinerary. And I think the cap is 60 people. So I know it's a little early, but Matreya and Sharon will be putting that together. And so they'll have a sign up list. So make sure you're part of our Facebook group so that you can be. On that sign up list, because I mean, what if we go over 60? I don't want you to miss out, right? right. <laughs> All right. So I uh, see just Jason Keto and more. He says, Evening, hey, everyone. He's been a member for 11 months. Way Thank to you, go, sir. Jason. Oh, he said, Happy Friday, friends. Go ahead. So he's going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees and we're going to roast this. So here, 
This is kabacha squash. Thanks again, Lisa. And she pointed this out at the farmer's market, the Mueller's Farmer's Market in Austin. And I don't even know how much I paid for this. Do you remember? Was it like $4? But I'm going to take this off. That came off. Look, isn't that a cute? Like, we could dry that, I bet, and use it as a little decor piece. Yeah. Should we? No, we have enough stuff floating around this house. Now, okay. you want to trash the yard. Oh, the yard's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this in half because Heath and I are sharing it. So that's why Sharing's I'm not here. Sharing. I know. Uh, that's why I'm going to cut it in half. If I mean, to me, this is a small one. If this is your main meal, that could be one person. Now, kabacha squash is a Japanese winter squash. Isn't that cute? And it's very similar to like a butternut or an acorn squash, I believe. What is it? Butternut, acorn. Remember, I looked I'm thinking, Remember I messaged it to you. I know. That's what I'm looking. Um... Oh, and a pup. It's like a Japanese pumpkin. Isn't that cute? Like a little Japanese pumpkin. Isn't that adorable? So we're going to cut this in half. So fancy, we're going to cut it up. Right? You might want to stand up. Yeah. You better Oh, there it goes. So you want to make Oh, burn? look how cute, y'all. So, of course, we're going to take all the seeds out. But isn't that beautiful? I love the bright color. And then we're going to also take uh, this bell pepper here. And the same thing. I'm just going to cut this bell pepper in half this way. Ooh. Oh. What? It just stinks. It stinks. Oh, the trash can? Yeah. Not the squash. No, the, the, yeah, the trash can. Yeah. But I haven't emptied it yet because I knew we were doing a bunch of stuff tonight. I for once. That's right. And have do the bell pepper here. And this bell pepper, I also got at the same farmer's market, different farmer. And I actually got two of these. I think I paid like $8. I don't know. But I got two of these. A mini uh, orange bell pepper and two other mini pepper things. I don't know what, what the mini was, but, and I think it was like $8. It, it was like crazy expensive. I was thinking, oh, I got that, Brussels, and tomatoes. And I was like, oh, so it should be like, I don't know, $8 total. And it came to like $16. I was like, what did I, what? But anyhow, look at the size of this bell pepper. I mean, it is a huge bell pepper, but good pricey. Okay. So, gets all those seeds out. I'm going to catch up on the chat. How is everyone doing tonight, by the way? Are we uh, doing well? Do you, excuse me, do you have any plans for the weekend, y'all? You're looking at it. Oh, you're my plan? Yeah. Uh, but seriously, what's going on this weekend? I was so happy that last weekend we had such a wonderful live on the way to Austin. You all actually, like, it was almost all the way to the hotel, wasn't yes, it? it was amazing. That's really what I was hoping it was going to end up being. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And then... Uh, Fail all the way home. Well, but we did, we still did pretty good on the way home. Uh, and and y'all, whenever we cut it off on Sunday on the way home, like within minutes, he was passed out. <laughs> so he was tired and, and really needed a nap. <laughs> All right. So I saw just Jason and Carrie said the battle of the shirts between Chris, Bear, and Heath, right? And he said the food looks so good on the trailer. Her pictures were wonderful. I know. Everybody cooks such wonderful, delicious foods. Carrie said, read the article about coffee since it was talking about making coffee from chickpeas. Also, there's a company called Beanless Coffee. They say it'll be hard to have coffee with the climate in 2050. Oh, well... I don't know. Chickpea sounds awful. Uh, John's here. Hey, John. Welcome back. Said, hey, y'all. You guys totally 
Got to try boiling hot dogs or chicken wings and cream cheese. In the cream cheese? Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay. That is different. We'll get some of that at Aldi. Get, uh... Wow, that is something. I'll have, yeah, thanks, John. We'll have to look into that. And I'll title it special request. <laughs> Carrie said, of course, reading chickpea coffee and then looking at chickpeas with carbs. They're not keto. It's a hard pass. Just stick to my water or sparkling water. Well, I don't even know how much carbs you would actually get into it because you're just soaking it. I just can't imagine the flavor being that good. 22Q Cat. Hey, Lynn. She said, time for Friday night fun in the horde. Hi, Shelly. Lord of the horde. He. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And all the crazies, right? Hi, Lynn. How are you? And El Strange is here. Hey, Lisa. How are you doing? And Shauna's here. She goes, hi, hi, Hungry Heath and Shelly. Hey, Shauna. And then that's Shauna's letting you know she can hear us. And Carrie's at 804 days without coffee. And then Shauna said, bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, right, we're well, ready to start uh, drizzling. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to drizzle. This is just regular olive oil, not the extra virgin. The regular olive oil does have a higher smoke point, and we just have the oven on 400. So this will be fine. And I'm just going to put some olive oil in each one, and then heat's going to rub inside out. Oh, yeah. Put my fingers on it. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on my fingers, too. So I'm going to do the outside. Oh, okay. Hold on. Or maybe just right there. That should be good. I can do this and then this. You'll want to face down. That's what I'm doing. I figured I'd turn it over and then rub, rub Oh, it well, happy birthday, Carrie. So hey. after midnight tonight, he'll be... 52. Wow, That's I have a friend when so I get young. home going to sing happy birthday through Zoom. Aw. Awesome. Well, happy birthday. That's awesome. That's my birthday gift to you, brother. I'm not going to sing to you. <laughs> right. L. Strange said, haven't made mine yet. We just finished mowing the lawn. Uh. What do you think? You want some more you good? Oh, that's good. Here, let me do the salt. Let me get it back over. I will get to mine soon. P.S. I found a new farmer's market close by. I'll report back. Oh, wow. Well, that's awesome. And thank you so much, Lisa, for taking us everywhere to all of those farmer's markets. I had such a blast. I know that seems like she's a perfect tour guide. Right. Some people would be like, oh, a farmer's market. But I'm telling you, that it was, was amazing. It was like the highlight. I love going to farmer's markets. I'm kind of sad that it looks like the farmer's markets in Ohio and Indianapolis and all won't be open We're when going we visit. Off I know, which is weird because we don't really get it off season here. Okay, that's good. You want to season the outside too? So you said sure. that might as well. Yeah. Like you said, now I'm going to lose these. But, yeah, I love the farmer's market. I saw a meme going around where they said that a lot of millennials feel like buying groceries is a splurge. And I was like, I mean, that kind of feels like a splurge. Like, I, I will go to the grocery store and be like, oh, I'm splurging by getting this Lily's bar, Right. Right. Or I was like, I feel like my splurge is when I go to a farmer's market. <laughs> I love it too. You look at the farmer's market. Oh, never mind. I'm getting cheaper at all of these. Yeah, because the one farmer's market they you had. Put it in. Yeah, put it in, and set it for twenty five. Up a little higher. But the um, the second farmer's market we Bottom went top. The bottom. Uh, the Mueller one, they had green onions, $5 for like a regular size bunch. $5, y'all. I looked up in the Aldi app, and I know it's a little bit higher in Aldi when you use the app because it's thinking you're going to do the curbside. But it's like $0.65 cents an Aldi for a bunch. 
that's a huge markup. But I know, I know it's a farmer local and all of that, but not for five times the price. Like two dollars, I'd be like, okay, I can handle two dollars, but five dollars just seemed outrageous. And I didn't think they'd look that much better, right? Lisa said, what is the weather like in your area? Fabulous, uh, actually. Yeah, today was a great weather day. Nice and sunny. Up and tell her. Nice and sunny out. And yeah, it said 81 today. So yeah, it was a nice day. I'm still debating on whether I want to go to the farmer's market tomorrow. Because if you do, what are you going to get? Depends I don't know. What you see? Whatever I want. Do I want to splurge again? Depends on what you see. Bad Apple is here. Hey, hey. Renee he said, happy Friday, okay. Horde. So now you need to rewind and tell her about our plans for KGs and stuff. Now she's here. No, she already heard. Oh, okay. at the, I'm still behind. Okay. Uh, I came in and broke the feed, I guess. Laugh out loud. Oh, because when it was. <laughs> she's a bad she got apple. us whenever it was like she's frozen. She's a bad apple. Lisa said, okay, we hear you. Now I'm back. And she goes, yes, I am not trying to stay over anymore, but I did get a new role this week. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, a new role? Oh. oh. I'll be oh, sharing. I'm, 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 I I'll be sharing the role side. The other guy's a major slacker for stroke program coordinator, and they'll be paying for a certified stroke rehabilitation specialist course. $1,200, no money increase, but it is what I love and I'm passionate about. The CEO said, pick the most since the other guy expressed interest, but he has no idea of how that therapist is work ethics and stuff, right? That's awesome. But at least you got chosen. I think that's the important thing. You got chosen. This will be another notch in your belt. And, you know, uh, like I hear a lot of financial channels always say, hey, if you want to increase your wealth, you got to increase your knowledge. That's what it comes down to. Always be looking to get more knowledge in whatever it is that you want to do. So if you're, you know, working like at, uh, 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 for example, you're working at, you know, McDonald's or whatever, well, maybe you need to, you know, get some more cooking skills if that's what you're really into or take some really classes on restaurant management that kind of stuff that so that then wasn't. you can move to like a better ah. restaurant where you can pay get paid more or maybe you take management classes and maybe you you love working at mcdonald's and you love that environment well maybe you want to move up and you do stuff like that so what you're doing yeah they're not giving you more money right now but in the end it's gonna be better for you and the only thing i'm concerned about right now i'm looking heath is it looks like the power cord is not exactly plugged into your phone. Yeah, it's already down to 68, so it's not plugged in. Okay. It's showing that it's yeah. charging. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, how do we do that? I don't know. That'll be a uh, Sunday uh, repeat. <laughs> right? Brenda F is here. Hey, hey Brenda, Brenda, how are you? Shada said, that's great, though. Maybe possibly in the future more money. And that would be great to have your credentials. Perhaps you can work out, work. Perhaps you can outwork, outlast, outplay. Right? There you go. And just pattern portfolio. And Renee said, yes, the course sells out within one to ten minutes of posting the next year availability. So I'm also on a wait list. Ooh, -hoo. Patty says, I have you on my calendar already. Hey, Patty. Yeah, Yay. That's what's going to make me happy, too, is all the people that said they're going to travel just to come see us. Right. Well, we're going to Oklahoma City. Yeah. So that'll be fun. We'll just have to find a pet friendly lunch place. But I'm so excited. But me yes, too. we're definitely going to do that. And we're, I mean, we're having so much fun on this trip. We haven't got to look at a whole bunch of restaurants yet and i don't know exactly we'll have to you know get with betray and sharon i know we're we're way planners but you know to find out what we're doing um in columbus those days i think some of the mushroom fell on the side there should we go ahead though and plug that in and get that here yes good call uh but that's so exciting batty 
Renee said, oh, I'll totally out everything. Oh, I know you will. And Sean said, wow, yes. And Renee said, I did express my concerns to the selecting team. And also, I am trying to keep the open to. mind that I do need to be a mentor as well, right? That's true. There's always... I don't know uh, anything about this earlier. There's always, uh, what is it, uh, something, an advantage to something you do, right? Take a less room, right? Right. Oh, Lisa said it was $4 a pound for that kabacha oh. squash. But that is, the, to me, that's worth it. That's worth it more than the freaking uh, green onions because I feel like you don't, you don't come across kabacha squash too often. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I've I've been feeling under the weather the last couple of days thanks to this one. Oh, and uh, so I'm still on the healing here. Uh, Renee said every time she says the name of the squash, I want to say bless you. Should we turn this like that way? <coughs> you know, this way. Yeah. Hold that. So we're going to do this kind of a uh, Cajun style, y'all. There, there we go. And then you can work the Perfect. Controls, right? Yeah. Do you want that little thing? Or do you I like it like off? this. Huh? Like that. Yeah. Okay. So for our filling or our stuffing. Do you want, um, do you want butter in there now for vegetables? Um. Well, it wouldn't hurt to get some butter out. So what we have for our stuffing, we have some ground beef. And then you saw the mushroom. We have some onions. And we also have some pico. No, what is it? It's rotel, basically. Yeah. It's uh, tomatoes, H -H chilies. Version of the, of pico de gallo. No, yeah. Of, of rotel. It's HB's version of rotel. Yes. And then we have some cognac uh rice that we're also going to use and our new cajun i'm sorry i call it cajun i mean our new creole seasoning i'm just calling it cajun this is what the rice we're going to use yeah and then you all know how we love our discount meats <laughs> thank you nolan ryan <laughs> This is actually chili meat, but it's the right portion size for what right. we need tonight. So why not use it? Yeah, it'll cook. All right, Gigi's here. Hey, Gigi. She said, good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Lisa said, trash never smells good, right? So this only thing was in here was onions. I'm putting it back in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. A little sliver in here. Oh. Patty said, I wonder how close it is in taste to acorn squash. I bet it's pretty close. Um, I'll let you know, but what I'm understanding, it's kind of like a buttery pumpkin type. Yeah, another one. Uh, L. Strange said, Farmer's Market in Austin is way too expensive. I've been searching for a farm nearby, hoping for better prices. I feel like, though, it's basically the same here, too, Lisa. It depends on which one you go to. Like, there's one downtown called Urban Market, and it is a pretty, it, I would say, it's probably close to the size of Mueller's. And I feel like all was pretty close to that. Yeah. The Mueller's, I think, probably because of the indoor area, they have a few more. Um. What I noticed is um, y'all in Austin have a lot more, I would call it, <laughs> excuse me, y'all, hipster type foods. Cause they're like the kombucha that we got, the Buddha's kombucha, the, mm -hmm. uh, sure, uh, the fermented foods. Um, you know, there were se Sorry. several booths with fermented foods and, um, and water keeper and the kombucha. I'll usually find one booth that'll have some fermented. That is like a fermented booth. And I'll find, uh, we do get quite a few vegan stuff. And I will find, um, but I don't ever see a kombucha booth. 
we get a lot of chocolaters, yes. chocolatiers, like a lot of people who make their own chocolate. I don't know why that's a thing. But anyways, but yeah, and they can be pricey. Some of the farmers, that's why a lot of times, like, you know, the one guy I got duck eggs from, only $7 for a dozen of duck eggs, which is an incredible price. Because here, <laughs> here, they run about 12 to 13, sometimes 15. So that was a really good price, but you kind of have to ask around. And it's the same thing with the actual farmers because i've gone to some farmers and yeah they'll be like oh no this this little bit of mushrooms is five bucks and then i'll go to another one you get twice as many and they're like three dollars right so it just depends right so do you want to go ahead and wash those now or you want to wait yeah you can okay. so what he's going to do with the cognac rice he's going to open the package and fall and fall and then once he gets off the floor He's going to use cold water and wash that rice off. Uh, Shauna said, well, sadly, due to 90% chance of thunderstorms, no going to nephews. Oh, no. Last UC lacrosse game, they may even call it. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, because I thought you were looking forward to this. Oh, it's a bag. It's not a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa said chickpeas make me too. <laughs> what, what? Chickpeas. Oh. Carrie said he mowed the front today. Oh, that's good. I've been just putting the clippings at the back fence. Then I'll go work tonight and clean the church, then food distribution at home. Oh, that's nice. I have a raspberry cheesecake made up with butter that's been in the fridge till Saturday to make ice cream for my birthday. Wow, that sounds splendid. Wow. Oh, yes, that's right, y'all. Mama Bear Lynette's son, Jesse, today is his birthday. He turned 18. Isn't that amazing? So, everybody, please, she made a post. That, uh, I know in our chat, I thought, she, I don't know if she did it. Uh, yeah, she did it in our group, I think. If not, you should, Lynette. Uh, so, I please go. Her page, but I'm working on that. Okay, well, you're welcome to on ours too, Lynette. So, everybody, go wish Jesse a happy birthday. Turn Jesse's 18. part of the family too. That's right. He's part of the horde. All right. Let me add the mushrooms. You done with that? Yeah. All right. So, yes. Happy birthday, Jesse. Twenty Cute Cat said, just relaxing this weekend. Today, I had to have roofers here because of a small but very expensive leak in the ceiling. So, now I have to, um, now I have to have the LR, laundry room, kitchen, hall ceiling, all painted. Ugh, buddy. Oh, that sucks, Lynn. I'm so sorry. Oh, inspection time. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. so. Well, let's, let's sit until we're actually ready. Yeah, and I'm ready. Uh, whenever you're ready to get the meat and put it in here. Uh, that's it's like, oh, uh, don't you just hate it when you have to like spend money on stuff you just hate that you have to spend money on it, right? With the, I don't know if it's something you can put on the insurance or if it's even worth it. Because I was listening to one channel and they were saying with the home insurance prices to um, basically you don't want to make a claim except if it's catastrophic. So try yeah. to keep it. I should be doing the gloves now, right? Uh, I think so. Okay, so we're going to use the Creole seasoning. So... I know so far, Renee, Bad Apple, and El Strange have tried our Creole seasoning. Well, I don't know if Lisa has. Well, I guess I don't know if technically. Y'all both have it. Have you tried it? What do you think? Let us know. It's supposed to be a copycat version of um, Tony Shatter. Yeah, should be close to Tony's, but you know, we always do ours a little spicier. Right. What is it real say? We're kicking up a notch. That's right. It's Tony's Bam. 
Uh, Tweety Key Cat said, oh, no, no, Four. no. Or 65 cents versus $5. That's too big a difference. Aldi wins that one. Is it instead of fans? Hey, yo. Oh, that's right. Hey, yo. Um, I, Exactly. That's why I was like, ooh, $5. I was like, wait, you mean 50 cents? Like, I think you put too many zeros there. I'm going to put a spoon for that. Oh. Okay. Whenever we need it. So I'm just being generous, y'all. You know what I think is really cool? I told you this by accident one day. I saw someone do it. This is just a mason jar, but I put one of those uh, Parmesan lids on it, and it fits perfect. Yeah, so there's a pro tip. So I'll let Heath get to busy up, because he's good at breaking the meat up. But yeah, I was like, mm, no, there. that's too much of a difference. Shoot. Oh, Carrie says chill. Try to get into a job with computers. I'm always learning. Well, yeah, you, that's what you have to do, especially with computers, because whatever you learned three years ago, it's been updated already. Well, like they told me at my job, the only constant is change. Exactly. Renee said there are only two other therapists in over a 150 mile radius that have the CSRS. I could get the cert and find another place, but this hospital is unique in the type of patients and facilities right but it does give you a bargaining chip right right, right. That, and that's what i was listening to ramit sethi he has a whole plan on how you get a race and he said this works and several people you know have told him hey i used your method and i got like a fifty thousand dollar raise or an eighty thousand dollar raise and basically what you do is six months before your yearly review is you meet with your manager and you say, look, I really want to excel here. I really want to help you. Besides what I'm currently doing, what else can I do to make the job easier, to, you know, get me more experience, to do, you know, more in here? What would you like me to help out with? Or what are some special projects you need help with? What can I do? And then what you do is, uh, you know, the manager, yo, yeah, well, I'd like, you know, help with this, this, or this, or yeah, if you can get certified in this, this, and this. And then every week or two weeks, you keep emailing that manager. So you're not talking about money yet, right? You don't even bring that up. You're just like, hey, I'm a great employee. I want to help you help me get more experience, more knowledge here. And then, oh, there, sorry. Do you need the night and the butter anymore? I don't think so. Not with all the grease and that. Right. So then what you do is every week or two weeks, you email the manager and say, hey, that project or this, whatever it is that you agreed to work on, right? Say, hey, I just want to keep you uh, up to date on how that's going. And this is what's going on right now. Blah, 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 blah. And just do that. And then about a month before your review or when you go in for your review, actually, and he says, which is kind of hard because I work remote, like I couldn't do that here. But he says you show up with like a briefcase or a folder and you put that on the table right in front of you and you go, well, over the past year, here's all this stuff I've done, right? You've got all this documentation, everything you've helped out with and say, and, you know, I've been comparing what I currently do here, what I've learned at other companies. And I feel like, you know, with what the, I would be paid at another place, I love working here. So I would like that same amount of pay here. So say you're getting, you know, 75000 here, but, you know, similar jobs elsewhere with that new knowledge are paying one hundred fifty. you You'd be like, you know, so pay me one hundred fifty grand. And that's what I would like, you know, seeing how well I've done. And basically that he says that it's really hard for them to deny that because you've got all that proof. And I know for me, uh, like at my corporate job, I always got the highest raises because that's what I did. I kept notes all year, any special projects I've worked on, any, any time I went above and beyond on anything, any awards I got, any of that. I kept detailed notes and then on my annual review, like my review would be pages 
And um, I even had a manager. And they're like, yeah, most kids only give, you know, like maybe a page worth of information. But they're like, we're stuck reading because they would have to read everybody's. And we're reading yours for like an hour because yours are like 10 pages long. OCD much? Oh, it's awesome, though. Yeah, but I would then always get the top raise because how they did it is all the agents for a raise at that time, they would compare them all and then rank from there on who got the most and then down. And so, I mean, that does work. Okay, so now we're going to add the Rotelish. Ish. Oh, here, you take it, babe. Oh, I thought it showed some in there. Well, there might be. No. Um, Lisa said they were just regular green onions. I paid two dollars for cilantro. Also, fifty cents. Yes, I know. I saw that. I was like, oh, two dollars. And then we can add the rice when you're ready. <laughs> Renee said two dollars for cilantro. Does it dice itself? I mean, it should at that price. Okay, now he's going to add in that cognac rice. Maybe lift it a little higher. There you go. All right. Ooh, I've never had... The same spoon to, uh, stuff it? Yeah. I've never had cognac rice, y'all. We've had it for about, what, three years? Who knows how... I think we got it in some box or... Uh, keto bag or something but it's looking to me like regular how did you all used to do when you would do most common is stuffed bell peppers what did you like to stuff and what was your mixture i know pre-keto a lot of it like we would use like leftover rice right because one night you had some rice and whatever else so a great way to use up is you would use the leftover rice you had a little bit of meat or beef and some veggies, and you mix that all together, and then you have a whole brand new meal. So I'm curious, uh, what was yours? Um, since usually just do just the meat and veggies, but I was like, well, we got this cognac rice, let's use it. Or if we really wanted a rice fix, we could use a cauliflower rice. Right? Where did the seasoning go? Did oh, you put yeah, it up? Yeah, because I'm not even done. Well, I feel like now with the rice, I want a little more. I know. Uh, <sighs> you done with the salt and pepper, though? I, I and, think. And this guy? Well, definitely that one. I'm going to clear some of my stuff out of the way. Okay. Okay. Just going to let and, that. Uh, the alarm fix is the, the oven. Oh, yeah, two minutes. Yeah. I'm nice. I'm uh, going to bring it over and set it down. Hey, Renee said, my HEBs have Texas Gulf shrimp large for $4.97 a pound. Wow. Sure but it's not, it's not Argentine. So, but that's still a good price for, for, um, for shrimp. So needless to say, I'm planning to make some yummy shrimp for the meals this weekend. Will you go? I can't wait to see them. Lisa said, shrimp weekend. And Lisa said, I like the texture of that ground beef, right? It is different. And when it was marked on sale, it's like, well, how could I refuse? It makes really good chili, though. Yeah. Shauna said, well, I feel a little better about this and nephew's lacrosse last game this season. He's playing again next year for UC Davis. Oh, how fun. Well, that's good. Lisa said the kombucha was the best. Oh, maybe in a little bit, I'll get Heath to bring in the growler we got. But that kombucha, oh my gosh, that is really good. Like, I I feel like, tell me what you think, Lisa. I feel like that kombucha is as good, if not better, than GT's. What do you think? Oh, everybody wishing uh, Carrie. Here, well, okay, yeah. come on. Carrie and Lisa both wish Jesse happy birthday. And Carrie said, I also got the grant and have it for two more months. I have the fridge full. I have a pork shoulder to, to cook tomorrow. That's awesome. awesome. And the 2HQ cat said, Oh, happy birthday, Jesse. Oh, I hope I know Lynette will see this on the replay. That's awesome. I hope she plays it for Jesse. 
Shana said, it's pretty action-packed. Sometimes hard to understand, though, the lacrosse game. Hey, yo, versus bam, laugh out loud. Right, which sounds better, y'all? Bam or hey, yo. Oh, the bell pepper's definitely done. <laughs> it's hard sometimes when you have the gloves on. They're, it's... <laughs> it just didn't want to open for him. Oh, let's see. Can he, can he flip them? Oh, wow. Are they even seeing that? No. Wow, that looks good, doesn't it? You want to ride or you want to go? No, I think it's good. What do you think? Let me see. I think that's good. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, the bell pepper's definitely good. Oh, yeah. I can turn it off. Well, you're going to throw them back in the oven, right? But you can turn it off because we'll put it just under the boiler because right. everything's cooked. Yeah. Are we going to need these? Well, yeah, we are. Yeah. We'll go to when we serve. And then if you want to get the cheese out that we're going to use. Turn it off, you said? Yeah, off, because we'll put it under broilers. Oh, yeah. And are you doing the cheddar cheese? Yes. Ouch. I just want to let this cook a little while longer, y'all. Wait, one more thing first. Yeah. We gotta we gotta taste the quality control. That's a big old spoon though. Uh -huh. Well, you also have a big old mouth, huh? Oh, 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 oh tiny mouth. I'm gonna hand it to me. Oh, oh, that's good. See what you think of the rice. Hot. <laughs> oh goodness, y'all. What oh, do you think? Boise. What do you think? It's pretty good, but I need your help. Okay. Or I can do it real quick. Hold on, that hurt. <laughs> the other night, I burnt my tongue in the same spot when you made me that hot tea. Well, I was thinking is, I'm gonna spin this. I'm gonna move these. So we get closer. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll put it right here. Uh, Lisa said, good stuff. The Creole seasoning. Oh, thank you. I tried this five spice and the Creole back to back. I love them both. Right before the last two slices of carry gold, with Creole seasoning on it. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. Did you hear what she did? Do it again, what you're saying? I'm oh, sorry, they, I was thinking. They the butter, and then she took the butter and sprinkled the Creole on it. Oh, wow. That sounds good. That sounds really good, actually. Wow. Well, thank you, Lisa. I love hearing that. That's so awesome. I'm glad you like it. Shauna says she's getting a raise. Woo! That's awesome. Super excited. Starts May 1st. Oh, you have to wait till May 1st. But that's awesome. I'm so this happy is, for you. This is the rest of that cheese that we had Friday, or actually this weekend. Yeah. Okay, are you want to put slices or cubes? You said you thought the cubes would work well. What do you want to do? Cubes. Okay. Um, I'm so happy for you, Shauna. That's so good. That awesome help you you know like get things paid off right uh tweety it's all okay it's just a big hit right now since i also just pay real estate taxes oh my car insurance oh and my home insurance oh well, wait, that emergency more. fund have come in handy for the roof right oh but that just sucks right you're like oh my gosh i just paid all this other stuff 
Should you do half of they seem a little long. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's a couple stuck on it. Oh well. Yeah, that looks fine to me. I think just more cubes than the rectangles. Yeah, that one looks ugly. Well, the one on your knife looks ugly. That one in your hand looks ugly. Are there more, or are you going to be good? Uh, I mean, there's also the bell pepper. But, uh, I mean, you got a bite. I don't get a bite. Not me up here. Mmm. 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 Here she said, I made it. Happy Friday to the horde. Had a great time. Well, I'm so happy to see you, Rickwood. So that is great. You got to see your uncle who's in his 90s, right? How fun. I have we were actually talking about you beforehand. I was like, Yeah, Rickwood might not be able to make it. He was like, But that's okay. She's hanging with family. I'm like, I know, isn't that cool? That's so awesome. Uh, Shauna said, laugh aloud, I've never made stuffed bell peppers, especially not with mushrooms. I'm just here for the company tonight. Hands and then, oh, some hearts. Oh, well, and again, you don't have to do it with mushrooms. You just use whatever veggies you have. What I used to do is I would do the bell pepper, but I would cut it a little different. And so I would actually use some of the bell pepper. So I do bell onion like the can of Rotel or tomatoes and uh, just use whatever veggies you like. What? Wouldn't you also parboil them? Also? Yeah, I've done parboil before. Uh, but yeah, can I have the little spatula? I can't. You want that or the spoon? This one. That works better? Yeah. There's a lot of juice in here and I'm just trying to reduce that down and I find that just helps the rice get more of the flavors because honestly i was first i was going to drain off all the juice the liquid from that rotel but then when she says she reminded me we we're doing the rice we're like oh yeah we need the water then we need that liquid mm -hmm. oh have a napkin oh thank you <clears throat> oh yeah we gotta do a load of uh, towels tonight oh yeah um, well, that is interesting. Never done stuffed bell peppers. Patty said, Oklahoma state legislator voted to discontinue taxes on groceries. Woohoo starts, okay, need to move it. starts in August. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Wow. That's really nice. It's really good not to have to pay taxes on your groceries of all things. Lisa said pre-keto she would do dirty rice in bell peppers or her husband would like sloppy joes in bell peppers. Oh, that's pretty. That's, that sounds good, actually. She has dirty calling rice now that is made with sausage, trinity, and a ton of seasonings. Right. Exactly. Oh, that sounds good. It's been a while since I had dirty rice. Right. Rickwood also wishes Jesse happy birthday. And Shana said, I... Wish love. I wish that I had Jesse's mom. She is laughing loud. Lynette is amazing. I know, isn't she amazing? And y'all, this past week, because if you were on our Sunday live, you know, Heath had a really scratchy voice. So Monday, there is a pho place here that does keto. They actually have keto pho. So they do a keto pho that uh, they call it keto delicious, mm -hmm. and so and they make sure huh. they make sure they're broth and they do a mixture of i think it's beef and pork broth overnight or maybe it's pork and chicken but anyways overnight eight to twelve hours but for the keto they do a sugar-free broth and then they use the it said shirataki yam noodles i didn't know there was yam noodles but they were white so i don't know i don't know i know they used to it was just shirataki noodles so that was nice you'll see in my intro uh sunday you'll see the menus oh awesome I took of all of it and put it in there oh good and you'll see where uh oliver or at least mine i took pictures of my meal and then i had the leftovers the next day 
Yeah. Because actually, I actually ended up making mine a little hot. Imagine that. So the bad for me brought me another bowl of just broth. I know. So I added it to that and then brought it home. And then I added some, uh, what I, I know I added, oh, some uh, sausage to it and something else. Oh, hard boiled eggs to oh, it as well. Yeah. And I had that for breakfast. And what I like, amazing, actually. they are, if you pay in cash, yeah. they give you 5% off. Yeah. So, of course, I paid in cash. I still had some leftover cash from the weekend. So that worked out really well. And they have three sizes of bowls. They have a standard, yeah. a medium, and a super large. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the large is almost as big around as the skillet, but about yeah. that tall. It's huge. Yes. It's almost like a, a big mixing bowl like we use. Right. It's almost like for a family. Yes. If wants to share it. But, yeah, that was really good. We enjoyed it a lot. Yes. And it was, it I was think. amazing the next day, too. And I think it really helped you. Yes. Yeah. So, um, and then what I made last night, right? Yes. Because I was feeling really bad yes. yesterday. I can, you can hear it in her nose, too. Yeah. I was really, really bad. And I was like, I just don't feel like just the tri-tip and hash again. So, what I did is I made a Thai coconut curry soup. But we used the leftover tri tip that was in it. Too. And that was really good, y'all. Is that what you had for lunch today? Lunch yeah, tonight? I had the leftovers yeah. for lunch. Uh, L Strange said, GT's is very good, but the Buddha is really good. Yeah. I love the flavors and the mixability plus the growler. Yes, the growler is really neat. I did do the math, and it's actually cheaper to buy per pipe, but the growler is convenient, right? I, I was like, oh, I should have done the math first. I mean, it's not that much of a savings, but it is a little bit. Oh, so, right. you know how I like to uh, I like to compare my pennies. But, but yeah, was that before you buy them? Right, I know because I think it was it's one pint, and the uh, one pint, and then the uh, growler is two quart size, which would be four pints. So four times the pipes were only three dollars each. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, so it was a couple dollars cheaper if you just bought four for pipes. But I get the growler because it makes it, you know, if you're just wanting one big flavor, that's an easy way of doing it. But yeah, I ended up doing the math when I got home. And I was like, ah, oh, that's how they get you. Shauna said, I finally learned this about my IHSS income and my job as a live-in caregiver. The CDSS has confirmed with the IRS that IHSS wages earned from providing care to a person living in the same home as the provider are not countable as gross income for federal tax purposes. The CDSS, California Department of Social Services, and IH." SS is where my raises. Oh, that's awesome. Less you have to pay on taxes. That's great, Shauna. Way to go there. Now you really feel like we're going to all in these? No. So I need to get a container ready for that too then, huh? Yeah, once we see. But we go ahead and do this now. All right. We fill this up, y'all. Ooh. Well, here, let me get a container. Well, what I do, I'll put this in the oven. Yeah. The broiler, and then I'll get the container. Yeah. Wait. Ugh. Yeah, it smells good. Right? Yeah, you put on there. Yeah. Well, then you got to push the cube cheese into it. Oops. Yes. I dropped a little bit. That's okay. Now to stuff the bell pepper. And we're also going to have like a little. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A little side salad with this, y'all. There, I got it. Oh. It smells really good. Again, um, Emerald Lagasse, why did you create smell a vision yet? Because I feel like you should have by now. All right. There we and go. And I do have some pseudo in my office. You need to have some tonight when you go to bed. That's 
swamp legends that I should have, but okay. All right. Oh yeah, the liquid's almost gone here, so that the be good. only bad side about cutting these uh belt members this way, they kind of fall apart. Yeah, I they stand do. Up. Well, because we did a little bit too long for a bell pepper. Yeah. Usually the bell pepper, I went roast for more than 10 minutes. But well, you know what, though? They're still going to be tasty. Yeah. Once you put all that in the oven and get the the pan to put this in, then we need to get the salad mix out. Yes. And I put the tomatoes on top so I can cut up some of the tomatoes for you. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. That one doesn't have as much cheese, Heath. And look, this is missing. I gotta help him get the, get the. Is that all the cheese? Yeah. Okay. And we're just gonna put this under broiler for like, I would say two minutes, and then we'll check on it. Uh, L. Strange said, "I think I was." fat and needed a hit right i mean that sounds good to me i have done before for he where i've just put some butter slices in the freezer just to kind of get it where it's almost like a chip and then put some redmond smoke salt on it when it, i bring it out and yeah he's been like "Ooh, that's good i'm like yeah kind of like a little treat right Ooh, this is, oh, y'all, just look at all this that's left. This will be perfect. Tomorrow, we were going to make the cook log. We might have to make the cook log on Sunday, or maybe you'll have this on Sunday. I don't know. So, yeah, we'll be having, the plan is to have the cook along on the 27th this month. So, we have a couple more weeks, but just kind of let you know. Uh, Shauna said, yes, paint off stuffs. Yeah, I know. Isn't that the best thing? That's whatever I get a raise. That's what I do is figure out stuff I can uh, put it away. Oh, and, then, not, not. and then uh, also upping how much I contribute to my 401k, right? <laughs> I try to act like I didn't notice the uh the rays oh sherry's here hey sherry she said i just tuned in and i'm so lost with the lingo guessing it is kombucha talk i know nothing about i need to learn good thing there's replay right yes we were talking about kombucha we went to a farmer's market in austin with uh lisa l strange this weekend and with her, there was a place in local to Austin called Buddha's Brew. And they had all kinds of kombucha, like I think five or six flavors. And what was cool is you can mix and match. So in a little bit, Heath will show the growler. Hey, John said, Heath, I'd pay to see you in Shelly's lipstick. We don't share that part of After Hours. Oh. I'm sorry, I stand corrected. Well, if you don't pay me, I can just wash it off real quick. Right? Show me the money. Yeah, show show the money. You still need the tongs? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're going to need them. You know what, though? We're not going to use these. I don't like them. All right. Uh, I said, we don't have any littles in our fam now. Youngest niece will be 21. Aw. Wow. Hey, you emptied that? No. Uh, and we need the salad mix. Is I it know, actually? But I need. Well, can you uh, move it so I can grab it? We have both the gloves. There. Lift it up higher. There you go. Yep. 
little bit lower. There you go. A lot of leftovers. It's going to be awesome. I know. That's why I like doing these type of meals because you get so many uses. So see, we can do that other we have. Right. They get stuff in. What well, stinks? What? I need to hurry and catch it. Because remember we were supposed to do the um the uh, core of beef tomorrow night, but why? Put it back in the freezer. Okay, yeah. We could do that like Monday or Tuesday. Right. So you watch might stuff, not... watch stuff, watch stuff. Oh. Can they see that though? Yeah. Okay, but while you're doing it here, you want this? I'm gonna go like I said, before I forget, I'm gonna put those in the freezer now. But if we're gonna have it Monday. Okay, then. Never mind. I'm um, and turn the oven off, please, in case you want it a little brown on top. No, that's fine. Okay. And then you want to get the stuff so we can do the salad. Yeah. Where's Those look good. Exactly that from? The uh, produce bin, it's the, you should see the tomatoes and it's on top of the salad mix. That's it? Yeah. The tomatoes and the salad mix. That's okay. all we need. Oh. And then I guess the salad dressing, right? Do yeah. you want to use the poly or ours? Ours. Or both? <laughs> both. Or, uh -huh. I got an idea. Hold on, slow down. Why don't we plate these and I get this out of the way? Oh, well, because I was going to keep them warm. Right. I know. I didn't expect you to pull it that quickly, but that's all right. Well, you're going to put it back on the oven on the stove, I mean. Um... Yeah, you can put it over there until we get the salads made up. And then... Um, you want this cutting board, right? Yes, please. Uh, I bet those leftovers would be great in egg life wraps, Patty said, oh, as quesadillas. Be. That would, Ooh. yeah. Now, here's one of the radishes I got this weekend at the farmer's market. Uh, I do love a nice fresh radish from the farmer's markets. Now, what you want to do, though, if you ever do get fresh radishes, y'all, make sure as soon as you get home that you do cut any of the tops, the radish tops off, because otherwise that'll keep pulling from the radish to kind of dry them out. And then those tops, save it. We'll, we'll be putting out, I don't know if we're going to do it as a short or video, but we're going to put out doing a pesto using the radish tops. You want more cheese in your salad too? No. I just wanted the simple salad. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but do you mind? Yes. Uh, Oh, 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 you know what I want? I forgot to have it at lunch. Oh, no. oh. What do you want? Plates. So I tried hanging you a minute ago. And then um, I just want my um, apple cider vinegar and uh, the avocado oil. Where is the avocado oil? Over here on the left side. But yeah, the, Patty, I agree. Those would be great as a quesadilla. Layer that, ooh, that melty cheese. That'd be good. L Strange says, how does he like the ranch dressing from the farmer's market? Pretty good. It's even better when I can find it. It was, I think, on the middle shelf. I found it. This one? Yeah, that's the ranch. This is the one you're talking about, correct? Yes. I'm asking her. She says she yes. So, um, we'll show them a little bit closer what it is and show them the ingredients on the back. I don't even see it, though. Oh, a little bit of lettuce left.
that the right angle? Yeah, but a little bit closer if you can. That's good. Hold it there for a minute. Oh. So what I like about this, y'all, is, and I don't know why I never thought about it before, but she takes fermented veggies and turns them into a dressing. So I will be doing a video on it, but um, I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a great idea. You know what, I'm not and all you do, and um, I did one, we had some fermented sweet potato and onion and ginger, it had ginger and garlic in it. Um, you know what? I will need the salt and pepper bag. <laughs> but all you have to do, and all I did, it was real easy. I took the fermented sweet potato, onion, ginger mix, put it in the blender with the fermented brine blended it and then slowly added avocado oil and some seasoning so i did that with kind of indian flavor i did garam masala and did that and i mean y'all it was so good uh so that's gonna be real easy so if you are fermenting a lot of vegetables here's a great way that you can use those vegetables those fermented vegetables to now make a salad dressing. Just think of all the ways you can, you know, use that. And then uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And let me get you some tomatoes. Thank you, dear. And these are those farm fresh tomatoes. You done with this? Well, the tomatoes oh. I was going to cut real quick. This should be plenty, right? Yeah, I guess. Oops. But yeah, I was like super stoked. So I came home on Sunday when we got home, or maybe it was Monday, because I did I was off Monday and Tuesday this week. And I immediately like, that was the first thing I did was make some sa fermented salad dressing. And it turned out amazing. Okay, now I'm done with that. And here's this one. And let me do the salt. I just did a simple kind of vinaigrette on mine mostly. Hey, you know what, though? This is bothering me. Get rid of this guy. Okay. It's dark. Hey. It is. And then here is that collie powder. And, and the thing is, like you see, this size is eight ounces. It was $8 for this bottle. She did have a deal. And, um, you do have to keep refrigerated. She did have a deal if you bought four of them. It was then $40. But $11. And we went through half of it the first time we used it. So I was kind of like, ooh, that's kind of expensive. I'm leave that. Ready? I'm ready, dear. Fridge. Uh, Shauna said, save that pan for dirty eggs, Heath. For sure. Right? For sure, for sure. Well, oh. it was easier. On oh, that. I see. Oh, I thought you were trying to grab that with a skillet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the squash. Ooh. I think I'm going to put that in the oven. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that spinning, too? 
Oh, yeah. Well. Okay. There you go. And then just our silverware. And then here is Heat's meal. Oh, it's good to me. It's like a lot. <laughs> All right, Shauna said, oh, yeah, I read that one. You saw that napkin? You didn't yes. How? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I do. You already put salt and pepper on the salad? Yes. Wow. Awesome. All right, I'm excited to try the kabucha. No, it's not kabucha. Kabacha. And yeah. I understand the outside is also edible the skin now i did wash these before prior to yeah mm. oh, that's so good yeah it's definitely like a butternut squash is what i i taste you know what though that reminds me next time we find those we can do this with those also i never thought yeah. about them yeah Mm. It's very creamy, like a butternut squash is. I mean, look, I got mine. No meat on it, so just the edge. Mm. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Look at that steam coming off of it. And then, y'all, uh, you can kind of tell my voice is a little raspy tonight. It was even worse than yesterday and the day before. And yesterday, I called in sick twice because... It was just too much. It, was, it hurt to actually talk. I couldn't do that for eight hours. But I worked yesterday, and my uh, my supervisor listened to a couple of my calls today. He's like, "Yeah, you were sick." He goes, "You're a pro. You're 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 a trooper for hanging in there, even when you're feeling like that." Aw. Lisa said, "She said yes. That's it." What's that? About the dressing. Oh. Carrie said, "Cauliflower tried to be a ranch hand, right?" Lashana said, what kind of cheese was that? Just Colby, I mean, um, cheddar. Just that's cheddar. That's, what we put on here, this is just that cheddar cheese. That's the same cheddar I used Friday, and we ate all weekend. Yeah. Just regular cheddar, was, uh, like not two, the easy melt. It was a block of cheddar, like a two-pound block. I just carved some off. We, we took some with us, and we had it left here. Um, mm. That's good. And I really thought we were going to use it tonight, but we ended up using this uh, salad dressing instead. But she actually used some of the ro the um, fermented sweet potatoes and made a uh, salad dressing. It was really good. That's going to be our new thing now. Mm -hmm. I wondered when we do. Remember, we kind of shaved those kind of thin when we made them for a minute. You think we need to do them as thin next time? Um. What do you think it'll yeah, matter? I don't. Or cubes. What would be quicker and easier? Probably cubes. Just cut with a knife instead of using a mandolin. Yeah. Mm. I'm just wondering which way it fits in the jar easier. That's all. Either way works. Oh, let's see this. Look. But I'm just thinking, you know, Lisa's fermenting the jalapenos. Just uh, a jar of jalapenos. Right. That would be good as a salad dressing, right? Like a spicy oh, wow. jalapeno dressing. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's really good. Yeah. Honestly, you know what that reminds me of? It's like a uh, uh, stuffed baked potato. Like the texture. Mm. All right. That's really good. Mm. You like it then? Yeah. I wonder who, though. Remember that crudito? I wonder if we use that to make a dressing, too. Well, yeah, but we've already finished it. Oh, well, no, but you're planning on making another one, aren't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, eventually. Um, so do you remember what an acorn squash is? Remember we yeah. have one? What do you think texture flavor-wise? Identical. Identical? Well, like, you wouldn't tell me that this is what this is. If you just told me it was acorn squash, I would have believed you. Okay. I feel like it's a little... A 
little more buttery mm. than an acorn squash, yeah, in it's... my opinion. But plus, I would have been thrown off because like, oh, it looks a little different. What do you mean? You're lying. <laughs> right. Wow, yeah. that's really cool though. Both mm -hmm. of them, I can do them with just the edge of my fork and say I can actually use a knife. Mm -hmm. and I know it when me they cooked them right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shawty said, I looked at my fridge for cheddar for my burgers, and for the first time in a long time, I was out. Wow. Oh, no. But at least you got the easy belt. Right. That should work, right? But I love now, too. She has two people sending it to her. Yeah. But here's the thing. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm kind of like jumping here. I was thinking of the trip because I saw Sherry in here. So I was actually on, looking on our path for our road trip next year for where Dutch will be. Dutch Bros. And Lisa, now she, Lisa knows. So I found one kind of before we leave Texas. I forget the little town it's in. Nacogdoches. So there's one in Nacogdoches. And then that's it until Nashville. Now, Nashville, there's a lot of Dutch bros all over Nashville. But it's just funny. There's none in Memphis. We got an idea, too. You know what we need to bring? I don't know if it would be one or maybe two, maybe even three boxes of that easy belt with us before, for um, when we're in Columbus. Oh? Well, remember they're doing the big cook along and everything? We can bring oh, some yeah. music and stuff. That's true. Yeah. We, or, we can be easy belt dealers. Or also, you know how um the tray does her cheese Fridays. Mm. We brought her the uh, uh, dapper goat. This time we'll bring her the easy melt. Yeah, there you go. That'd be hilarious. Because <laughs> honestly, y'all, originally I thought it had to be refrigerated. I thought it was in a refrigerated section of the store, but it's not. It's in a regular uh, uh, shelf. That's why we're able to send it to uh, Sean. And we'll be able to travel with it. Well, HB didn't know either. That's <laughs> when I talked to a guy. He was like, yeah, he's like, for some reason, they thought it had to be refrigerated. I said, yeah. But then we went to Joe B's, and it's just sitting on the shelf. He's like, yeah, it doesn't need to be until you open it. Just like Velveeta. It's sitting on the same shelf as Velveeta. Right. Isn't that funny? Uh, Lee said, ooh, blend them up. Good idea. I had a sip today. They are close, but not ready yet. I added a previous bride from Red Serrano's. Ooh, oh, wow. that'll be good. Well, you know, their problem is, I mean, their the thinking was on that. HBs, better safe than sorry. Right. Better refrigerate just in case. Right, right. So what do you think of the ranch dressing? I think it's really good. That's what I thought last time, too. Mm -hmm. That's what gave us the idea to start doing our own. I mean, we never, honestly, until we saw that bottle, we never even thought about doing this. Yeah, I never thought about making fermented dressings. Isn't that funny? It's really great to do with all the channels you've already watched. I know everybody doing it. I, I haven't seen anybody else do it. Isn't that you funny? Have y'all? You need to start mentioning it to them. Have any of y'all seen other channels doing a fermented salad dressing? Shauna said, well, I ended up making peanut butter bacon sauce instead this time. And that looked amazing. That does. I we, love a good peanut butter sauce on a burger. We need to try that. We can do walnut or pecans. Mm. That'd be really good. In fact, we need to work that in one night and do it on the on, on a live. <laughs> Shauna said, woohoo, Dutch convert. Right. I know. That that's what we're doing here. We're slowly but seriously. Converting. Once she had a cup, she's like she started jumping on her phone and found a place close to her. <laughs> Remember, she was all sat on oh, so far away. And then she messaged her later and goes, "Oh wait, I found one." I got right back back to school. That's like really nice. Yeah, convenient. <laughs> when she can't be dangerous, y'all. Yes. Oh, hey, strange hey, said. Just made sure you join the rewards club because I got <laughs> uh, emails or uh, things. Both of us did actually. Uh, two or three times this week, they're like, giving bonus points. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, do we need to go real quick? Or no, he would go every day, y'all. Uh, you know dangerous now that I'm not working uh, out in the field anymore, I don't have to pass by him anymore, or else I would be more inclined to go. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and then Lisa said, ha ha, I'm now a Dutch sister. That's right. She's part of the mafia. <laughs> no, I think the mafia is ones that work there. Oh, Shauna said she went to Nacogdoches when she lived in Louisiana. Wow. Yeah, I don't think it's that far from Shreveport. Oh, I used to live in Shreveport. You uh, lived I, in Shreveport? I really lived there, but I went there almost every weekend. This is the first time home, hearing of this. Right back when I used to play poker all the time. We used to go to the casinos. Oh. oh, all the way to Shreveport? Yeah, it was fun. We stayed a weekend. Hmm. I didn't like Shreveport as much as like New Orleans. I didn't. Or, uh, well, I never went to New Orleans until we went. Oh. But I went to Shreveport the... and yeah. uh, Lake Charles. Oh. Well, about the same. I liked uh I know Shreveport, it, I guess because all we've ever done there is just stayed at one of the casinos. Well, back in the day, too, when I was playing poker, I never had to buy food. Because when you're playing in the casino, they give you drinks for free. Mm -hmm. I wasn't drinking alcohol, but I drank sodas all day while I was there. And then they gave you free, bur uh, free hot dogs mm. while you're playing. So yeah. I was eating for free. And, and drinking for free, so all my meals were free while I was there, so I just thought that was a win. Right, that's true. And I was pre-keto, so I didn't care. Mm -hmm. Lisa said, I have the app, but I have to keep it down to no more than one trip a week. Right. That's Same. us, too. I was trying. I was, she's trying to keep me from going once a day. It's, it's a struggle. Yes. He definitely... she's, kinda like, she's like, okay, I guess you can go. Or if we're out and about, I'm like, do you want to go? She's like, well, maybe. She'll tell me no, and then while we're out, she's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> well, and I'm going to say, they're not the lowest carbs because oh. of all of the half and half. Know. So to me, I really look at it as a once a week treat. Yes. I have tested my blood sugars, and I haven't had any issues that way. And I haven't seen like, a, like I even had them two days in a row, and I didn't notice any changes like on the scale. But I know it's dangerous, and that's too many carbs to have a whole lot, right? Not well, every day. better for you when they're actually using heavy cream. Because mm -hmm. what she'll do a lot of times, too, is she'll grab it on the way home, especially the one right here by our house, come home and fix it with heavy cream. Mm -hmm. She'll just mm -hmm. let it sit in a cup, and then she'll heat it up and everything once she fixes it here, which makes sense. Yeah, what I've done before is just got the... Um, the nitro and they'll heat it up for you so if you don't want it cold just say you want nitro and then when i get home i'll add my stuff to it or what i've done before also you heard me order the white coffee breve or i will get an americano and add the sugar-free syrups to that and then when i get home i add my butter and heavy cream so i have done that but then sometimes it just tastes really good like you said Lisa nailed it on the head. The thing with Dutch is they are so creamy and foamy. And that, I think, is what the selling point is. It's just so luscious when you drink it. And you're just like, oh, even when I bring it home, I can't get that same, like, foamy lushness that they get. Even with your special little machine, they're just better, huh? Right. Sherry said, super excited for y'all to visit Nashville. I'm south of there. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, I know. I remember what road. We're coming from Memphis. So whatever road that is. And then headed towards. So we'll have to figure out a good place. You'll have to let us know a good place to meet. So that we can then uh, have Dutch and just hang out and chill. And we'll have the dogs. And that'll be fun to see you in person. And yeah, I'm super excited. This was an awesome idea to have a shower with this. It's it blends well with it. Yes, this is I very agree. Filling too, though. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that I just cut it all with a fork, even the bell pepper. Shada said, "By the way, I found a great snap seal easy melt shake container. Oh, oh really? nice! Where did you find it? Is it in one of your local stores, or someplace we can order online, or what? <laughs> I mean, seriously." Because what I'm doing with it now 
And so I just put the baggie, the, the, the little package. I throw the box, both pieces of the box away, and put the uh, the little package in a Ziploc. But if you find a, a snap steel uh, kind of container, that'd be perfect. If you don't mind sharing, if it's somewhere I can find it local. Or we'll do a trade. <laughs> Say, you know what you can do? Next time, you send us some stickers. Put the stickers in that little container and send it to me. <laughs> if I can't buy one locally. Shauna, thank you again. You're amazing. Thank you for all your help with everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Sherry said her best friend from college uh, days lives in Nacogdoches. Oh, wow. wow. How cool is that? So she can enjoy Dutch as well. Mm -hmm. Where okay. did you say they're originally from? Uh, Oregon, Where? I believe. Remember? Um, the first time we went, one of the guys, the the the, um, the workers was telling you about it. Oh yeah. Gary said, "I go to Dutch and ask for an invisible coffee just to see their reaction." I do it for you. And that'll be you know what they'll do. They'll hand you a full, they'll hand you a cup and charge you fifteen bucks for it too, probably. Right. Just because they can. But he gets tea. Mm. Uh, he won't do that though because he still doesn't want caffeine, remember? Oh, well, the, oh, that's true. I don't know if they do it with caffeine free. Uh, Shana said, I got 50 extra points today. Don't remember why though, because today they were doing a that's, bonus. Yeah, that's that what I was showing you. Today. That's what one of the, the things I hit. Uh, I saw the little notice on it. Yes. <laughs> I have to show them in a minute. Because what I do too, y'all, I save all my cups. Uh -huh. Because in the mornings when I eat my eggs, I sit, I break, I was for a while when I first started making my hard boiled eggs, I would do a whole batch, break all the uh, the shells off and pitch them. And then they started getting slimy and gross. So now what I do is I peel them every day. But I have one cup. I leave in there in the very back corner of the uh, of the um, fridge, out of the way. Well, here. That's okay. It's okay. It's already in there. But then I just I have that one empty cup from Dutch. I throw all the shells in there until it's full. Then I throw it away and just rinse and repeat. But I have a big giant stack in the closet. Yeah. In the pantry. Sorry, y'all. I had to drink. I love my apple cider mm -hmm. and olive oil. I have to drink my dressing of my salad it's just so good i love 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 the taste of apple cider vinegar so i always do that with my plate but uh hopefully it didn't gross you all out but i have a container in there with my uh the leftover pork chop i'm pretty much slicing that up and throwing it in there with it maybe mine too well i'm gonna well, get my salad first i was gonna have mine for my lunch oh tomorrow. never mind that. never mind never mind Keep my hands off of it. I know. Shana said, I was in Alexandria, which was apparently geographic center of Louisiana. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Wow. That's nice. So it was easy for you to go anywhere. Right. I've been through there, too. You almost sounded like a little right. cage in there. I've been there, too. Uh, Shana said, I went to Lake Charles, too. That's where I've got a lot. I never went to Shreveport until I was with always went to the southern part. Sharon's here. Hey, Sharon. Evening all just got home. Well, welcome, welcome. And she said, hello, hello. We How are you doing? You. Oh, yeah. See, Shada even said, it's better to order an Americano with sugar-free sweetener and putting your own heavy cream at home. So, yeah. Why would they tell you why they weren't carrying a heavy cream anymore? Just they, as a company, decide not to have carry heavy cream. Uh, Patty said, we have eaten at a hole-in-the-wall barbecue place in Shreveport, Shreveport that was pleasantly surprised us that that and shocked us that it was as good as it was. Yeah, that is. Uh, I wonder if it's the same place we've been to. I'm um, friends with the owner on Facebook. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if this is the same place. Mm. It probably is, but it's really, really good. That's where we got. Well, I met him that time, and we we became friends with him. Yeah, he was real nice. And then the next time we went, he remembered us. 
Well, you remember, but I thought they had moved to a bigger. Okay, I just don't know if you're right. Okay. Did anything warm up? No, thanks, boo. I think it was like a, like daddy, or, or maybe he was called daddy. Big daddy or whatever. I don't remember. No, because you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, maybe it's on your Facebook. Maybe that'd be easier. I wonder how I'd find it. I can't remember his name. His actual name. Yeah. Not the name of his place, but his name. Well, I wonder if I look for Shreveport. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can figure, figure this out. Oh, and Shreveport's where you won that. He won one tournament. Yeah. It got like over $1,300. Yeah, $1, right. yeah, the El Dorado. That oh, was... here it is. Real barbecue and more. Yeah. Real barbecue and more. Oh, was that the place? Yeah, you said, wow, we found our go. Oh, I don't know what our go to barbecue place while in Shreveport. The owner, Harvey Clay, is personal as we sat down and came right over to welcome us. We talked about barbecue in Texas. He's from Midland, so he makes great Texas barbecue. I mean, that does look pretty fucking, uh, pretty freaking good. After dark already. So let me know, Patty, if that's where you went to. So real BBQ. Sean is when I'm at a scrapbook retreat, there is Dutch on either side of the town. I'll bring my own cup with butter in it. Well, there you go. What you're like, which one do I feel like? I know what we can bring on the trip. That big mug I got from work. That'll be a good coffee mug to take oh. on a trip with you. Ooh, that is big. Not gonna be good for coffee though, right? So you have to fill it up right now. I mean, that's big. Okay. That's real big. I mean, I've got mine with okay. your logo on it. Okay. That's fine. I'm just thinking a big cup for you. That's all. Uh, Carrie said, Shelly will be flying since it's nitro. Right. Pretty much. Shauna said, laugh aloud, the new hangout style, Dutch and chill, right? They need more seating there, though. Oh, Shauna said, Amazon. That's okay. where she got it. Send me a link if you don't mind. Yeah, she put a link in here. Thank you. Sherry said, you get close and I'll come to y'all. Okay. Copy paste that so we can uh, okay. look it up later. Let me start it. Or, worst case, you'll send it to me again. And then Shauna said, Eugene, Oregon is where Dutch started. Okay. Carrie said, I had to get rid of the herbal tea since the tannins were messing with your iron. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's just water. I'm sure you can order it, Dutch. El Stray said, funny, I guess I saw he keep the cup for trash. I kept mine, and you says a trash container on the counter. Oh, it's handy. Oh, thank you, Shauna. She sent us? Yeah, she thank sent you. us the link. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're awesome. Oh, wait, is that the large or the small size, though? The center? I don't remember. The We're center is the full size, aren't we? Yeah, I didn't know there was more than one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I bought the big ones because yeah. I was like, First I'm not going to. Yeah, why why buy the smaller one when it's I'm gonna be shipping? Might as well ship the biggest right. I can. Uh, yeah. Well, you know he's I think showed it countless times on live and and in his videos what he does with his Dutch cups. <laughs> Sharon said having a late dinner. JJ's unwitch. Ooh, that sounds good too. I haven't had like a sandwich type in a while. What well, we've talked about actually getting the stuff from the store and making our own. That sounds good tomorrow, too. Oh, what are we going to have tomorrow, y'all? We'll do that. And we have it for lunch. Well, I already have my lunch set up, but I have mm -hmm. leftovers from yesterday. Yeah. But, oh. I, I want to kind of do the cook-along recipe tomorrow night. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. know. Or we could do it Sunday for brunch. All right. I don't know. What do you? Well, we're also going to do my live Sunday. Oh, that's right. So what time? <coughs> <coughs> decisions, decisions, y'all. Uh, which type of sandwich did you get, Sharon? My fa favorite sandwich was always an Italian sub because I, I really love cured meats. And you know, they always say cured meats are so bad for you, but I freaking love cured meats. I, I don't know. Maybe I have a little bit of Spanish or Italian, obviously not with this skin color, not much, but I must have something because I freaking love like 
oh my gosh, get me any cured meat and I'm so happy. But how do they do it? They don't want lettuce, right? Yeah. If we were going to do it, would that what we would use? Or like an iceberg, right? That's what they use. Or we get one of those long ones we've done. Like romaine. A, romaine, you want to do it with that? I like it with a romaine, yeah. just because the romaine holds better. Yeah. Uh, Shauna said, laugh aloud. I got lost once in a downpour and had to call my boss to send her hubby to find me. I called from a place called Bait and Breakfast. Uh -huh. That is hilarious. <laughs> Renee caught it. She goes, laugh my butt off and demonetized. Ha, ha, ha. It's because she hangs out with you too much. And Tony TQ Cat said, oops. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. If if you have, I I try to really keep keep my verbiage. You know what's funny though? Um, uh, PG. You know, of course, for our videos, and if I know, like we were around Max and stuff. You know, if we're around any kids, I do try to keep it PG. Or if you're someone who's like, "Ooh, look, that kind of offends me," then I try to I try really hard. But if 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 I know you like Renee, um, and I know she's cool with it, yeah. The words, like <laughs> the yeah, the the f bombs and every other bomb, it it just comes flowing. But there's a, a page I follow on Facebook called the Vulgar Chef. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, him. he's <laughs> gross though. Something something makes up. Yeah. Thank you, Shada. And Renee said, "Well, Shelly, you have the twenty three and me results. What else is in there?" <laughs> Right. Uh, well, it is. So it was French, and was it uh, the UK? Basically, like ninety three percent. So how much um, is that? It's like you did a study because of something you did. And like, say, I wanted to do it. If I wanted to register to get it, how much would that cost? I think it's like a hundred dollars. Oh. Let's see. I'll get mom to pay for it. It's her family. <laughs> It's also your father's family, but yeah, he can't pay. Can't oh him. my gosh, the premium is two twenty nine. Wow. Oh my gosh, people pay for that. Um. Oh, it's one hundred sixty dollars for the kit. For the basic. If you just do the basic, oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's no longer a hundred bucks. Uh, yeah. When I did it, I got it for free because they were doing research on those with um ulcerative colitis there's a, there's a kind of research thing on ms <laughs> right that's true and so because they were doing all of it, i was able to like put it in and i got it for free uh oh what they don't remember your uh thing? no oh wow shauna what you do shauna just said let me see where i okay Shauna said, a $10 super chat helping to counteract the colorful language demonetization. Oh, oh that's you. so sweet, Shauna. Thank you. Maybe they won't catch it since we're about two hours in. But thank you. That's so sweet. Patty said, I can't remember the name of the place, but it wasn't very big. They served it on paper plates and had a trash can in the middle of the room for the trash. What I remember is it was kind of like, it was a small place. Like you went in and you went like straight down the middle, I think, to order. And I think maybe they had six tables, like three on each side. And it was kind of like family style. You just sit, right? Just right. It's how I kind of remember. Mm -hmm. But I, I could be wrong. Um, let me see if I can get this 23 of me. Huh. No. Wow, right, when's the last time you actually log in? Well, yeah, because you know you get that habit where it saves everything. And it's probably a lot, when's the last time you actually log in on that computer, you know what I mean? Oh, never on this computer. That's the big problem right there. Well, and you know how, you know, nowadays sites will be like, oh, now you got to change your password. Because right. we don't like that password anymore. 
Oh. That's, that's what I really hate at work. They make us do it like once a month. Oh, yeah. I have one, too, at work. That's so to change. annoying. It is. What I really don't understand, y'all, I work 8.30 to 5.30, okay? For some reason, every single day around 4 o'clock, all of my systems log me out and I have to log back in. It's so annoying. That is weird. And, well, and it's not just me. It does it company-wide. Oh. Well, uh, maybe because... We're open later, though. Well, I don't know. That's why I don't understand about it. So this is what mine does um, <laughs> my day at, at work today. I got in and started working. Let me see. Oh. I tried up. that password. Huh? That's dumb. What, it, what told you it? And now Sonia's wrong? Yeah. All right. We'll reset it then. Ooh, I got a lot of a lot of tabs open here. That's weird. I oh, was gonna close mine. But anyways, so what had happened this morning, y'all? This was really aggravating to me. So right in the middle of working, I'm doing so the uh, to this week I was doing a um, our exception processing. It's a special report that is in four sections. So you I was working high? the first section, and there wasn't that many to work, right? And I'm just working ahead, blah, blah, blah. There's only like six in that report. So I get to the last one, and Lincoln had already posted that she was getting some kind of error message, so she was going to reboot. So I'm like, well, I'm not having any problems, right? And then when after I finished that last one, it popped up an error, and I'm like, mm -mm, don't you do this to me, computer. So then I'm like, well, let me try this other one. And then another coworker was like, yeah, now it's not letting me in to do like wires. Anybody else having trouble? Two other agents, they were like, oh, no issues here. And then, yeah, everywhere I went, I kept getting this error in this one program. So I was like, ah. Uh. So then my coworker, she said, well, I'm going to. So she's just going to refresh that program, close out the program, reload it. But then Lincoln had already done like the complete log off and restarting the computer. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like waiting to see. Well, my one current worker, she said, oh, all I had to do is just refresh it. Now it's back and everything's working. I'm like, okay, let me try that. Do that. Nope. Same freaking error. Finally, Lincoln comes because you know how long it takes to reboot your computer. Lincoln comes back and she's like, okay, now it's working. I'm like, well, great. Now I got to log completely off, which sucks because the way I do my computer all week is like, you know, certain uh, walls that I need for the week, I just keep them in the different Word docs. I have those all up uh -huh. on one screen. I have my Outlook on another. I have my timesheet. I have my... Uh, different websites I use and then I have my other program and then I have my teams and then I have my little snippet tool and all these things and I've got them perfectly arranged and usually you know they're arranged for the first day I work that week and then you know every day I don't have to log off so the next day when I go back in you know it's all nice and neat looking so I had to log completely off which means everything shuts down all my word documents everything Finally, bring it back up. Finally, it decides to work. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I get back at doing my stuff. And then I finished the other two. two of, so I finished the first, first section of that report. I finished the second. I just started, I worked the third and fourth kind of together. I just started that. And that was a seven page report. And I just started it. And all of a sudden, I get a little pop up. Your computer needs to restart in 15 minutes. Ugh. I'm like, I already restarted. Why do I have to restart again? I was so bad. I was like, you're preventing me from doing this. So finally, which Sam needed to go out anyways. And I was like, okay. So I finally hit the restart. And then I went and got my coffee, let the dogs out and everything. That Because it takes about 15 minutes to mm -hmm. restart a computer. Well, like in my job, I have to clock in at 8.30. But then I have five minutes. It actually says on my uh, schedule, 8.30 clock in, 35 phones. So I have five minutes to get all my stuff up. It's built into my schedule. Oh, yeah. That's wild. 
that is. Sam, do you need to go outside? I think he's wanting plates. Oh, no. I need to put that in a yeah, little container. I know. Well, Are you wanting plates? I'm going to get up here in a second and use the bathroom. I was going to get you a container for that. Okay. So I'm going to do it. And let's go ahead and let him And out. wait, I'm going to tell, I, I put it on the warden report. So make sure you watch next week's warden report for a little, little thing that Mr. Sam did today. Oh, I didn't hear about this. Yeah, you did. You experienced it. Oh. Little butt. Uh, Renee said, PG on the channel, baby. Around Max, uh, there were still some words and innuendos flying. He's well, got to grow up sometime. Well, um. Uh, at least some words were okay, He's but like I a crazy I, uncle. I, I try, I tried not to be too bad, but and, and Lisa was like, "Oh, he hears those words, so it's okay." And I was like, "Okay," because sometimes it's hard, especially if I'm driving. If you've ever ridden in a car with me, you know it's hard to keep this mouth shut. Uh, Renee said, "Irish." Oh yeah, I probably do have some Irish. Renee said, we get discounts having done it already. I get email offers from them all the time. Oh, oh okay. Well, then I'll have to look for one of those. and see. Reset your password. No, I'm not British, but my, my grandfather is from London. He was born in London, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So that's like, I, that's true. Yeah. Oops. All right, I'm just going to reset my password so I can bring this up, y'all. Uh, Tweet Tiki Cat said, nothing offends me. Curse all you want. Oh, Challenge God. accepted. <laughs> well, thank you, Lynn. Okay, so just so you know, that, I, that when I meet up with you next year, what was the, uh, I don't uh, have to hold back what's and, it called, uh, what's and PG and uh, edit myself, uh, right? The, the George pass. Carlin's bit where it's all words you can't use on TV. Right. The password has to be 12 characters. That is just freaking ridiculous. You know what you can do? Because I think I know yours. Can you just double yours? Pick it twice? I can't use my name. No. Oh, yeah. Because what I do is I have one password. And because mine has to have a so many characters, a capital letter, and then a number and a special character. So all I do is put that same word capitalized with a number and a special character, and I change the number and character every time. The password is the same as the current password. But it won't tell you what the current one is. No, I obviously I know this is stupid. All like really 23 me. My bank is not this secure. Why right. are you need like what is somebody gonna log in and be like, oh, we got Shelly's DNA now? We're gonna put it on this, you know, weapon here at the scene. I mean, come on, 23 me, 12 characters is too long for your stupid password. That's dumb. Now you're gonna make the password stupid password. <laughs> I know. I should say stupid. That's what the password is. Stupid. Don't tell everybody. Well, I can't even make it stupid because that's not long enough. It has to be 12 letters. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> well, show the password. He needs to stop giving so much power. To what, what, what? Oh. What am I doing? You Did you say what your password was? No. Somebody was saying you were giving too much info on oh. your password. Oh, yeah. My bad. Makes it easy to hack. You're right. Oh my gosh. Now a verification code. This oh, is I hate that. This y'all. Okay, Renee said, Shelly, log on to your app and you'll see gift options. Well, I'm trying to. I didn't know that this was like or Mission not. Impossible. Thanks for the pro tip. I am oversharing. Not he. Oh, look, somebody wants to send you $9.5 million. Oh, yeah? You know that's totally legit. The African head house of Ubaba. Yeah, that sounds legit. Yeah, he, you owe $9.5 million. Right. Do people really fall for that? Uh, oh, my gosh, y'all. This is ridiculous. Oh, okay. Uh. 
Sharon said, okay, messy unwitch is done. Nice. All right. Oh, now I get it. You got it? Two, five, four, seven, two. Maybe. I just want to log in, y'all. Well, here, I'll just do it over here. Maybe it'll still let me. Ridiculous. All this to find out information, right? Was it really worth it? All right. Are you in? Oh, shoot. No, I'm, I'm still not in. I got excited. I'm full, but I still want a creamy. Really? Yeah. Wow. I think I'll help my tongue because I'm going to burn it. How'd you burn your tongue? In the food too hot, remember? Right that when you fed me part of that uh, the meat mixture at the, the very you... beginning, it's still tingling. That is too sensitive. Obviously. Obviously. Can't enter the code. I how many codes do they want? Probably too many. I'm telling y'all, this is more secure than getting into my bank. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Facebook's almost like that, too. You know? Oh, you do not have current reports and updates. Upgrade now. Oh, now you log in. Now they want you to upgrade. Oh, $79 to upgrade, to buy a chip upgrade to get current health reports. Uh-huh. That's all right. I don't need to. I don't need it that bad. Especially not with all that. Yeah, all right, family and friends. Uh, see all relatives. Let's see. Uh, invite. Oh, refer a friend. Earn twenty dollars. Oh, hi. I don't need to do that. Invite. Well, I'm looking. Where is the? Huh. I don't see a place on here where I can. She said on the app. Oh, I have to get on the app. Isn't that okay. what you said, Renee? Yeah, she did say that. Huh. Well, invite, send an invitation to family members. Huh. I don't want to do that. Well, anyways, let's see. Hmm. What was my other history here? Um, I said, yes, that sounds similar. So that would be interesting if it was the same place. I remember it was good. Mm -hmm. Sharon said, uh, not sure which meats it has, but it's packed and I added the spicy peppers. Ooh, that sounds good. Lisa said Max was taking notes. Uh-huh. Shauna said, my aunt's or obit actually said that as an adult, she learned she was a donor baby and spent this time learning about her bio family. Wow. My mom also learned she was adopted in the family, so I'm basically not related to any of my relatives, but my mom somehow, wow. That's wild. Sharon said, work for DOE. We had to change passwords every 90 days. It had to be 16 characters. Ouch. It cannot be a repeat from the past year. Oh, Ouch. that's awful. 16. That just seems so much. Renee said, same at our hospital, Sharon. And now has to have 16 characters with caps, lowercase numbers, and the symbol. Yeah. Yeah, we do have to have um, a cap numbers and a symbol but i think it's only eight characters what i love about I it too on my if i leave it sitting too long my screen locks and i have to punch my cat uh my thing in to uh unlock it oh yeah, yeah. i buy this too yeah. yeah it's like there's a well there's two because i signed it to a vdi so if i'm only gone for like five minutes i only have to do the main computer but if i'm gone like on a break for 15 then i have to log into both oh, wow but I still like it. Yeah. Um, Bad Apple said, I felt like doing it pretty open. 
You should. Laura S. said, hi, everyone. Been helping my granddaughter rearrange her bedroom. How's everyone doing today? We're doing great, Good. Laura. How are you? Glad to see you here. Sharon said, I found an easy workaround for the password. Kept the beginning and the end the same, but only changed four numbers in the middle. There you go. What they always tell us is whatever you choose, like either the beginning or the end, you add like a zero one. Oh. Or you can do zero, zero, one. And then every time you have to, because one of ours, the co main computer one, we have to change every 90 days. Then you just add the next number to yeah. that. And then we have the different passwords for a couple other things. Some of them, oh, goodness. Some of them, I'm like, I don't use it that often to remember. I think this is chipped. Why are you chipping my counters? Oh. Uh, but oh. that's a good idea, Sharon. Oh, gosh. Renee said hers were changed when she was out for surgery. So bad enough, I couldn't remember login, but they then had to go to HR for a reset, then a million-mile-long password entry. Right! Like, ugh. When they hand you a novel, that's your password? Yeah. Now, what's happened to us before, and we, all of us, every time the computer has to do a password reset, so every 90 days, we're all like, okay, cross your fingers, everyone, because it has happened to each of us when you go to reset your password, the computer's just like, never mind, we don't know you anymore. Oh, no. And we have to wait. They have to send you a brand new computer in order to get in. A brand new computer? Yeah, because they can't wow. get into the computer to help you. Oh, they can't remote in. Wow. Yeah, because you, you can't get it past that first screen. Wow. So because they can't remote, then the only way to do it is they would have to get to your computer but since everybody's remote, then the only way is to do a replacement. How long does that replacement take to get to you? Well, you remember when that happened? It was like it was overnight. Oh, okay. So I think I only missed like a day and a half of work. Oh. But they said. And when you shook the other one back? Yeah, yeah. And then they unlock it? Yeah. <laughs> what they said happened uh, is if you, so if it'll come up telling you your password's going to expire in 14 days. What I found out is you like I was always someone like I'll reset it when it finally tells me right, I need to reset to. it. They said you can't do that. Do it immediately. Uh, well, you have to do it immediately, but you have to do it before the password expires. And that one time I was locked out, had to wait. I waited until it prompted me because I was like, okay, I'm not going to change it till I have to change right. it. It's not a problem for me. And then that's what happens is it locked me completely out. I fell safe. Even though it came up, change your password, and I did that, but it, but it still locked everything out. So they said, no, no, don't wait till it actually expires or two beforehand. I was like, okay. The 14 days, do it at 10. Right. That's generally what I do. Kiddo in the mist. Hey. hey. Said, listen to while the kiddos play in the park. Oh, oh how awesome. nice. Rainy tomorrow, so we need the outdoor time. That's right. Get out there in the sun. Of course, I don't know if it's sunny now, but get out there while you can. Renee says, Shelly, thank you again for the pumpkin seltzer. Oh. So yummy. And also for restocking my H8 spice lineup. Well, thank you. Thank you. For supporting yes. our little spice business. Yes. Thank and I'm you. glad you like the pumpkin. That's what I had tonight, right? That pumpkin? Yes, uh, yes pumpkin pie. And I'm all out. You want another one? Yes, that's why I brought another one. Give me a second. Uh, Laura said, was dinner good? I'll start oh, the video yeah. from the beginning when I go to bed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So we used, when we went to the farmer's market, you kind of see it here, Laura. <laughs> we used, this is a Japanese winter squash called <laughs> kabocha. And it's kind of like a butternut, the smaller one. It's kind of like a butternut meets acorn. <laughs> And uh, we just stuffed them, we roasted it, and then we stuffed them, and we just stuffed them with ground beef. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I'll be back. With ground beef and, um, and onions and mushrooms, and we used some cognac rice. Let me see if Sam needs to go out, y'all, because he's like... He's been peering at us. Do you need to go out, baby? 
There you go. Yeah, you just think you need to go out. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I don't think he needed to go out. He's like scared of the lights because we have the big uh, lights in here and the halo. It's like scared and he won't come into the kitchen with those except if I get up that he's like, oh, okay. I get up now that mom's here to protect me. Uh, but thanks for re watching it, Laura. Rickwood said, Shelly, calm down. Passwords are getting harder because a lot of these places have been hacked lately. And yes, it'll be blah, 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 blah. Um, I mean, I get that, but oh. it's just, it, I, I guess it's almost password fatigue because everything has a password, like 23 and me. Why do I need a 12-digit password for that information? I don't know. Some some things I'm like, I don't think I need a password for that. Like, it just seems a little much. Or not a detailed password. Like, I guess what it is is, you know, like my bank passwords aren't as stringent as some of these others, right? So why is the bank not as secure? To me, I think money should be, like, very secure. Okay, so my 23 and me. 98.9% .9 European. Gee, I don't know why I'm so um, So, 63.6 .6 British and Irish. Do y'all want me to bring this up so you can see too? And Renee said, stupidest. Said, so, once in a while, I look at my spam mail and always crack up at the pumps and enlargement pills. That is hilarious. You're like, oh yeah, I'll get great use out of that. Rickwood said, yes, I know someone who had their savings account wiped out because they thought they were sending money to their grandson. So, yes, people believe these things. Well, now those I could kind of understand. And I was hearing Clark Howard talk about some other scams that are going around where they'll pretend like they're the IRS calling and stuff. Um, but when they're like, hey, I'm a prince of Africa, are people still falling for that? Especially nowadays. Right. That's what I mean. Like some of them, yes. I know some of them get very sophisticated because, again, I've been listening to Clark Howard. He's explained like some of these. Oh, Samson's in, outside. He didn't need to go out. Uh, some of them, it's like, wow, they really are. And some of them I know have actually called my phone before. And I'm like, oh, wow. That's Good boy. Like, I kind of figured it was a scam. <laughs> Tweety Key Cat said, people always think I'm a goody two-shoes. I know. you. I think so. Like, they have to tiptoe around me and watch what I what they say and do. Do I look like a meek little librarian or something? I mean, I did think you look like a librarian, honestly. <laughs> the pictures I've seen of you, I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't want to make you mad. Maybe what it is. Everybody wants to be your friend, and so they don't want you to be mad and be like, oh, I don't want to be your friend because, ooh, you you dropped an F-bomb, right? And maybe that's what it is. They're just like, I have to be her friend, and I don't want to make her mad at me. Gary said, we have to protect our data because hackers keep trying to get our data. That is the new goal. That's true. Oh. Shauna said, I spaced out. What were we talking about? Really nothing. We're talking about passwords. The TV show, Password. Yeah. Rickman said, as a former security officer, I used to have password classes for employees. It was useful as they couldn't write their passwords down. Their supervisors could run a program to check security. Um, yeah, that, I mean, I get that. I get that. There's definitely a need for it. And that's why, like, every year I have to take a security class and a fishing class. Not a fishing, like I'm going to catch fish with a pH. So they, um, you know, the company I'm with, um, uh -huh. hold on one second.
uh, so every year they'll put out a new, like they update and they, you know, do all of the new stuff. So the new fishing tactics, the new sp spams and all of that. And every year we have to take it, which I'm totally fine with. And again, Clark Howard often goes over the different spams out there that are going on. Uh, Carrie said, I use 18 characters with passwords. Wow, that's good. Shauna said, I make my mom message me with any password changes she makes because she always asks me anyway. Right? That's true. I had to do that all the time for my mom. Rickwood said, I love making up passwords. They are like anagrams. Oh, well, there you go. So what is it we're eating, Heath? The keto chow fudge. I don't remember what flavor you made. I just know it's really, really good. Really, I don't remember. The orange cream. Uh -huh. The new that they just released this week. All right. So if you didn't watch our video this week, we're orange cream. We're finishing is, this tonight, by the is way. now back in stock. And we mixed it with Lisa gave us the pumpkin pie lilies chips. I was like, ooh, orange and pumpkin. That seems like that would go. And it like really freaking goes. It's really good. There's two left. One mm -hmm. for each of us. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Sean's here. Hey, there Sean goes. said, hey, y'all, we're packing and listening in. Ooh, you get to go to Ireland soon. Jelly. How exciting. Ah. Good zoo tight, Heath. No. Shauna said, oh, my God, talk about computer excommunication default. <laughs> Speaking of trips to Ireland, we were discussing going to Europe next year, or, I mean, 26. But then I had a great idea, and Shelly kind of likes it, she said, to actually, instead of 26, we're going to do a left coast uh, road trip. we come visit some of y'all out there. And we'll do um, 28 Europe. Or 27. What about 27 is when we're doing the... 26. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. <laughs> Math is good. Right? That's what Lincoln like, told me today. She's like, I'm glad I don't have to know math for this job because... I only clocked... work in a bank. <laughs> I know. She goes, I clocked out at 3.08. I kept thinking, oh, I have to be back by 3.28 for my lunch. For my 30-minute lunch. And she goes, then when I came back, I was like, wow, 30 minutes just goes by so fast. Uh-huh. And then she's like, oh, it really does if you only use 20 minutes of it. What I love, too, though, is my, uh, when I had my one-on-one -on -one today with my boss, he came back. Because we have hour lunches. And we were both agreeing that uh, an hour is not even long enough for lunch. Wow. Good like, you just get comfortable and then trying to come back to work. <laughs> right. That's weird. Uh, Shauna said, well, shoot, laugh out loud. What I love about uh, him, too, though, he's a foodie also. So we spent half the meeting talking about food. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, Renee said, Sean, Sharon and Shauna, there's always rooftop riding. Just grab hold of a few bungee cords and maybe a tarp and floss for the bugs. What? <laughs> Shauna said, as long as I have a site or app to save and show me my passwords when I forget them, I'm good. Right? As long as nobody else sees that. Right. <laughs> So ATK Cat said, poor Sam thinks he's in a movie studio with all those lights you've got going on, right? Right. He probably does. Like, I don't know why Bob has to be there with all those lights. She should be on the couch with me. Right. Uh, Shauna said, I really should have taken that Turkish princess offer for money in his kingdom. Right. Why didn't Shauna? Such a missed opportunity. Right. Somebody else is now with that Turkish prince and his kingdom. <laughs> like, for speaking of uh, BSing with my boss about food, we were scheduled for a 30 minute meeting today. We ended up going an hour and 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Rickwood said 12 digit because the hackers can't break it in the three seconds when they run their programs. Ah. You lose your ID, you will be glad to have 12 characters. My bank has gone to a stricter password lately. Huh. Yeah, see. Now, I, I do, I think this is part of it. So, both of my banks, the passwords are 12 characters. But when you log in, then they send you, what did they call it? The OFA? Oh, what was that? I don't know. What was that? Something fell. 
uh, but they then text to the phone number that you stored, they text a six digit code. So that is like, a, what do they call it? Double authentication. Yeah. So they do have that. I would much rather have that. Better, well, better, safe, better safe than sorry. Than having to come up with a 12 character password. Yeah. Like, let me just do two factor. Yeah, I will do the, that. That's the word. Yeah. And most of, uh, so the main computer, I have to do two factor for work. And then also, well, no, it's just the main computer. I have to do the two factor. Oh, one other program. You know what this is? Really? What other program I have to also? First world problems. Well, I know, I know. But I do like the two factor. That doesn't bother me. Except for on Facebook, it's annoying. Right. Again, on Facebook. John asked, Shelly, what would you say is Heath's most attractive feature? What does he think yours is? There's so many most attractive features. We don't have time for that list for her. Oh, we, we need to tell about her. Mm, my most, let's see. Your most attractive, I guess what attracted me to you first was your sense of humor. Oh, I thought you were going to be my pro, my uh, uh, Facebook uh, profile picture. No, I think, it, well, that is kind of your sense of humor. Uh -huh. He used a Southern Comfort ad as his Facebook profile pic. And I was like, what does this guy even sneeze. look like? Like, I, when I first was chatting to him on Facebook, I was like, well, what does he look like? And I was having to dive deep into his profile to find his picture. I was, was like, well when I was a little kid. <laughs> I know. And I was like, well, is this him or not? I was like, I guess I'll have to see when I meet him. But yeah, I would say your most attractive is your sense of humor. I need to like I need to sneeze. Uh, well, go smell some pepper. No. I don't want to get up and leave you. So do you have one one you would say about me? That remember we are on Aha. on YouTube. Honestly, that you're a nerd. That I'm a nerd? Yes, you're so smart. Oh, really? Yes. I don't know about that. But... I know, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Oh. That's so nice. Shada said, all I needed to send him were some Amazon cards. Oh, that's it? Jeez, you just had to get some gift cards, right? Yeah, that was another one I heard of where people are told to go get the gift cards and then tell them over the phone the digits on the gift card. Wow. Yeah. Lisa said, if they are still doing it, then someone is still falling for it, right? That's true. Sad. Kids nowadays... Now have computer classes and talk about security a lot. I feel like um, throughout history, like like when I worked the big corporate job before, I definitely saw the trend. And that's why, like at this company, like I was just really surprised on the fish sheet. Like there's a separate one for security. There's a separate class for phishing well, and a separate one for scams. I was like, wow, because... Like, I remember at the big corporate job, you know, a few years ago, it was just like a little blurb in your yearly update, right? Your yearly refresher course, which is a little blurb. Now, they, they're their own course. Yeah, ours too. But yeah. I really love about ours because I have to take payments now too, which really, really scared me at first because I hate being responsible for money. But I constantly, especially with the older customers, have to tell them not to tell me their information. Right. Credit card info. Because what we do, we do it two ways. I click a, well, we use one program and I'll click a button on my end and they'll hear a tone go off. Then uh -huh. they're supposed to key in the information. Uh huh. And I'll see like the first six digits, but then it goes to the rest and I see the last two or three digits. Uh huh. So, but, and we tell them for our security and yours, we don't ever sh uh, share. You never have to share your info with me. Oh, except right. Except for that. Right. And we do it again for the numbers on the back. And then they have to verbally tell me the expiration month and year. Oh, yeah. And then the zip code. Yeah. And I have to key that in. But that's the only time they ever tell me numbers. I think that's oh. really cool. Yeah. If that doesn't work, then I can email or text them. And they oh. send it all back. That's awesome. Because the insurance that's company awesome. I worked for, that what they did is... 
which to me, I mean, that's why it's like, when you give your credit card company or if you give your credit card to any company over the phone, yeah, I'm just like, to me, that's not going to be that secure to begin with. Right. Because, you know, especially the insurance company I work for, I'm like, yeah, they're not paying their employees that well. So right. do you think they really care about your security? Right. Like they could really pull some stuff. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, because all they would do as you would say that maybe they've changed it since it's been a couple of years, but you would say, okay, I'll take your payment. And then when you click the next, it would stop the recording. Ah, but you still hear it. I Well, because I would have to ask yeah. and they would give me their credit card number and credit card information. So I still got the full thing. It just didn't, the voice system didn't record it. But you can, Right, now. exactly. And when I worked at my big corporate job, because we worked for uh, Fortune 500 companies, uh -huh. we did their HR benefits. And every year we would hire these contractors. And I always said, that's just, uh -huh. I mean, you were, we were mainly hiring them for annual enrollment, which, okay, that's okay. You're giving them limited access. But then they thought, oh, well, this would be good to hire contractors. To help with 401k benefits and i was like that sounds like a horrible idea because uh, right. what do they call it recipe for disaster because one the company you're using for these contractors they're just hired any like joe blow oh my gosh i had some some very questionable people that i like trained uh that were contractors because they were like oh i just need something for two to three months like they did not want a full-time job some of them now there were plenty that did but there was a few they were just like you know just so i look legit mm -hmm. that i legitimately look like i have earned money at a company if you get my drift mm -hmm. and i'm like you should be trusting these contractors, but you know, who am I? I'm, I'm nobody in the company. And they made the decision that that was best. Well, guess what? There was a ring of contractors in Florida that they ended up taking several hundred thousand dollars mm -hmm. of 401k money. And I'm like, well, duh. Like who didn't see that happening? You know what I've always heard too, though, is that all, it's all criminals do is sit around and think of ways to rip people off right and, and that was just such an easy way i'm like yeah. oh my gosh sean said maybe that's why i have so many friends i drop a lot of f bobs i mean that's probably it <laughs> and you can drop them all around me i won't even notice a lot of times i'm just like what <laughs> 20 q cat said well i guess i'd rather look like a librarian than a big thug right Mary T's here. Hey, hey Mary, Mary T. She said, hi, everyone. Man, am I late. So nice outside. I just saw the time eating yummy pork belly tonight. Oh, Ooh. yeah. We haven't had that in a long time. Saw my first hummingbird today. Oh, nice. Aww. Yeah, right after I put out my feeder. Oh, how nice. I bet that was beautiful. Ella Strange said, great combo. Right. I thought it was a good combo. Shauna said, see, dark chocolate lilies with orange cream fudge for my next craft retreat yeah this it, it was um i think the dark chocolate the orange would go well yes. but that pumpkin spice it yes. orange it i it really well together. i think what it is honestly the pumpkin spice chips yes are very similar to the white chocolate where it's a softer chocolate or chip you know so the fudge was really, really creamy and soft. Well, it was really cool too. I don't know if y'all heard it in the uh, review we were doing, but um, <laughs> some of the chips didn't melt down all the way and yeah. it hardened back up. So it made a little crunchy bits in there and it was really good. It was a nice little change. I liked it. 22 QCAT. I can't even talk. 22 QCAT. Not the fudge. I'm so jealous. I know, right? Speaking of me, you're making them bad. Yeah, well, that's why I was thinking of tomorrow, maybe go to the farmer's market, hit that Aldi Kroger, and then hit Sprouts to get the white chocolate okay. chips. Well, what flavor are you going to use on that? I don't know. We've got you, the um, butterscotch. Okay. Cause I think or the have, fruity cereal. That's what I was say. We still have one left, don't we? Yeah, we okay, have one fruity cereal let's left. Let's do that. Let's do with that. the white chocolate. Has anybody else done that yet? And we have birthday cake. Ooh. That would be good with white chocolate, yeah, right? Yeah. 
Uh, Carrie said, well, I'm going to start out the door to start my cleaning at the All church. Right. Hope everyone has a great and cheesy night. Thank you you too, Carrie. Be careful. Carrie said, bless you, Heath, from the sneeze. And Thank take you. care, everyone. Will Thank you take you. care? Carrie, have a wonderful birthday tomorrow. Shauna said, yes, finally, someone's coming to left coast. Uh -huh. Yes, Heath was so excited. He came to talk to me, and he was like, okay, this idea. is what I'm thinking. Instead of going to London, I'm like, really? You're going to give up London again another year? He goes, yeah, but we go to the left coast. And I was like, okay, that would be fun. Like, the only can... downside, honestly, y'all, it takes three days to get out of Texas. Two, but yeah. Well, that's the way she drives. I'm sorry. Yeah, when I'm driving. But I was thinking that'd be fun because we can head to California, uh -huh. head up to Oregon. Yes. And then we can head. I wish we could go to Forks, but I think that's another like 10 hours yeah. from, from Oregon. But I want to go up to where Coda is. And then that'd be cool to come down through Utah. Yes. And see the Bears and Keto Chow, Lynette, and all of them, and my other headquarters. And Norman Karen. Oh, uh, yeah. And Norman Karen are in, in Utah yeah. as well. And then Colorado to yes. see Debbie. And I think there's a couple other people in Colorado. Yeah. And then come on home. That would yeah. be fun. Yes. And then I would be able to hit both of my off my work offices. Yeah. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Uh, Sharon said, "I'm good for a left coast trip." Well, there. Okay, start planning it. 2026. Yeah. All right. Mark it. Mark Lisa it said, "All these years tossed around reminds me Max graduates in 29." Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Where, where y'all going on 29? Oh my gosh. And he is so tall, y'all. And he anybody is. who saw Max last year for the cruise. He's almost as tall as I am. Yeah, he just like. He sprouted. Yeah, he's totally. If y'all saw in the video, he's like totally tall. You know what? But, <laughs> I think in the video, though, mostly it's when he's sitting down in the back seat, though, right? Right. But he's, he's yeah, he's definitely a lot taller. Yes. He looks like he's aged more than one year since last cruise. Well. How, how old is he now? What did you say? 16? He's only 13. 13? Is that tall? Wow. I know that's what I mean. You've grown big in taxes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Shauna said, yeah. And Sean said, the Ooh, horror yeah, takes over today. Vegas. Love it. Ooh, well, that would be fun. Oh, yeah. Friend. We have people in Vegas. Yeah. We got to visit my friend in, in uh, Louisiana. I mean, California. My friend Carrie from school. Oh yeah. Last time. Oh yeah, she's in Oakland. Yeah. Uh, but I Melissa uh -huh. is in Vegas area. That'd be oh, fun too. Yeah. Hit Vegas as well. But I think for that one, we would have to almost do it over two weeks. Yeah. Because it takes a lot longer to get to that side and get back. I gotta I gotta tally it up to see um if I have that vacation or if it will be my third year. All right, that's mm -hmm. true. Only thing. Because it was funny today, Lincoln, she ordered this, like, new palette. Y'all, okay, anybody here, like, buy and wear makeup regularly? Me, you count me on that list. We don't talk after hours. But anyways, um, I, I obviously, I don't, right? Uh, I kind of get what's cheap. Like, to me, I'm like, ooh, that's cheap. Um, and that's what I get. She bought, she said, the new company that she loves and only wants their palettes. That's what you call eyeshadow now. It's not an eyeshadow. It's just a palette. You buy palettes. And the palette, she was excited because it was on sale. Lynn, you're going to love this. On sale for $40. She And she was like, oh, I had to grab it because that's it, there, it's normally a $70 one. All right, on sale, on sale. I know, but I'm like, like for me, $40, I would have been like, oh, I don't That's know sweet. about this. Because the last time I bought makeup was from Timu, where I paid like $2. So to buy, to spend $40, I would be like, oh, no, that would not be a sell price for me. That would be like $40 for four color palette. Right. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Obviously, I have no idea what makeup costs. So, but uh, she said that when she ordered it, she checked and it's still in El Paso. And wow. she's like, and she's in Missouri. And she goes, so can you go pick it up for me? I said, you know what? It's actually closer yep. for me to drive to where she is 
Then in it, Missouri yes. than it is for me to go to El Paso. What did she say to that? She's like, what? No, she was like, Texas is just too big. No. And, uh, and I said, watch your mouth. I, because to her, it would be a nine hour drive. To El Paso, it would be 11 hours. Uh-huh. Non-stop, right? Uh-huh. And, and I told her, and we would still be in Texas. Yep. Like it's an 11 hour drive from here to El Paso mm-hmm. and still be in Texas. And we're not even like, it's still what a good couple of hours to the east to get out of Texas. Mm-hmm. So that's not even one end of Texas to the other. All right. I was like, no, I, I'm not going to go and, and get your your pallet to El Paso. Shauna said, poltergeist in the kitchen. I mean, maybe yeah. Penelope. Nah. Maybe Penelope is mad because another tree fell in the backyard. Oh, yeah. Was that her tree? No. You checked? Yeah, okay. I know her tree. Okay. Shauna laughed. And Shauna said, I have my Tomahawk Steak HH shirt to wear over in Ireland. Yes, represent. We'll be repping the whore. That's wow, awesome. that's awesome, Shauna. Thank you. Okay. Only caveat to that is pictures of her didn't happen. Right? Oh, it's bedtime. That's awesome. That's awesome, brother. Thank you. Uh, Rickman said, when I log into Social Security or Office of Personnel Management for retirement, they require a 15 password with a lot of restrictions on what you can use, the double verification. Oh, wow. That's crazy. But I kind of get that for Social Security. Well, on my on my job, too, we have two different verification things I have to do for two different systems. What it requires, they send it a thing to my phone. I click on it. Then I have to enter another passcode into that that they give me. I have to type in the word they give me on the screen into my phone. And that's put in another code that I set up on my phone. To get yeah. My system. Right. I mean, I get that with Social Security yeah. because that is, in the U.S., that is one of the most confidential information that you can have because once you have someone social you could do so much and what do they say too though for the social what do they give you a little restaurant style uh, <laughs> piece of paper and you can't laminate it or do anything right. with it. and you only get this one for your life yeah <laughs> all everybody's wishing sean safe travels yes. i know i'm so excited for you i wish they had a channel and they were doing videos on it uh, right? That'd be fun. Shauna said, oh, and I think I have some white chocolate lilies for the fruity cereal. There you go. And she goes, okay, I'll make some fruity cereal to test. I mean, yes, please. Report back. Uh, oops. And y'all, every single one of you has been amazing this week with your pictures. We had a lot of pictures to add to the trailer. Thank you. Uh, Sean said, I used to really love those chocolate orange things. Ooh, oh, yeah. Yes. That I'm combo like, yeah. of dark chocolate and orange cream made me think of those. Ooh, oh, man. you're right. You know, could do something similar to that. We have that one uh, mold. In the, it looks like a Death Star. If we did that, it'd be similar to one. Ooh, that would be. But, but it'd be hollow. So how would we fill it, though? Just no, you would it. make that one whole. You yeah. would make it solid. Yeah, but how would we slice it? Because it's going to fall apart when you're right now that would be the hard thing yeah that's still be fun to make it just because it'd be looking like the death star (laughs) renee said i used to get those in my christmas stocking yes i used to love those oh that's remember i used to get mad at my mother too as i got older i told her i don't care what presents you give me for christmas i always to this day i've told her this i always want my stocking that's my thing she didn't give you one the last couple of years she gave me a stocking back and told me no moss so that's my favorite part of christmas oh wow Ah, excuse me. The zoo tight. That's my favorite part of Christmas was the stocking. Gotta wash the floors now. <laughs> Shauna said, I used to love those chocolate oranges. Yes. yes. Shauna said, my calendar doesn't go to 2026. You need what? to fix that then. You need a new calendar. Well, then you know what that means? We don't have to plan that trip that hers won't, she won't even know. Her calendar doesn't go that far. She just told us she doesn't want us to visit. Oh. Renee said, Max didn't look like the same kid even from last year's cute guy. That's what I'm saying. And they're like, Lisa, when did you get another kid? Uh, right. Matreya. Hey. Hey. She said, good evening. How are How you are doing? I've been talking about you. 
John said, tell us what happened on your first date. Where was it and what happened? Oh, I don't oh, even we can't remember. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I, I think it was in this house, wasn't it? I don't know what we would even consider as our first date, honestly. Um, I have no idea. I don't even remember. Is that bad when you don't remember your first date? I think because when we met, neither one of us took it seriously. Uh-uh. We were just talking. Yeah. We were just talking and having fun. So yeah. we didn't like, oh, this is a first date jitters or nothing. We just. Actually, I don't think we actually clocked anything, um, marked it down until we got married. Right. Is that bad? Is that wrong of us? It wasn't. And that, then it became official. Yeah, exactly. Radical geek, I am makeup ignorant. Join the club. I ha I have no idea about makeup. In fact, and I've told Lakin because she does beautiful, Man's like cool. oh my gosh, the she does the layers on the eyes and like it's just gorgeous and her lips and everything. I'm like, can you just teach me teach me how to do it? And she's just like, I, I don't know, I just do it. But she'll say, you know, it just takes me an hour. I'm like, oh, only, never mind. Only an hour. She's like, that's the time I could be sleeping. I, I'm just like an hour. No, no. If it's going to take more than five minutes, no. Bro, <laughs> I'll, I'm out. So, yeah, I, I have no idea about makeup. So I'm good that I know how to use lipstick is you how know, I figure. You know, it's expensive. That's all you know. Right. And $40 for a palette. You're like, no, I can buy steak for that. Right? L Strange said, I buy more makeup than I use. Ulta is having a good sale. Oh, I remember. You know what your habit is? Ulta, honestly? I haven't gone there forever. You know what you spend that money on instead? Soap. Coffee. Oh, oh yeah, God. soap. I do love soap. You, you like the novelty Lisa soaps. saw me, and Lisa was like, probably thinking, why are you buying soap, Shelly? Like, she smells good. And that soap smelled so good. I did buy some soap at the farmer's market. I do. She loves homemade soaps. I do love homemade soaps. They're just so that and coffee. And I've really been enjoying um, Bones coffee. Oh, speaking of, you need to grab the next bag. Tell me yeah, I put it out front okay. there. I'm making sure. Um, I put them in order in the okay. basket. Um, I think I've decided. I enjoy flavored coffees. Uh -huh. More than regular, just dark roast or medium roast or, you know, like a lot of the places they'll be like, oh, this is a Colombian blend or this is from Ecuador or this is from wherever. I don't care so much about those. So I'm not like a, I'm not a professional what coffee a, a aficionado. connoisseur yeah. like Matreya. I just like the flavored coffee. So this past week I've been having... The, I think it was Frankenbones I think so. from Bones. And I'm like, every day when I smell it, I taste it. I'm like, oh, this is so good. So that's what I prefer is a nice flavored bean. And you've had me start up and do it. Instead of three scoops, you told me to start doing four. Yeah. And so. Extra. Right. So I'm just like, that's what I like. And they came out, Bones just released all of their fallout blends. But I've never gotten into Fallout. Um, I don't, is anybody into the Fallout gaming? Speaking of, somebody posted earlier on Facebook, I don't remember who it was, saying that the, that show was really good, too. The Fallout, the television show. Oh, there's a television yeah. show? I thought I'm it was not, a game. It is, oh. but it's, I think it's based on the game. Oh. I've never played the game. But it's I've, the yeah, I've never. I I, it's not my genre right. of gaming. Let right. me put it that way. Radical Geek said 40 my voice went up a couple of octaves right. exactly 40 and that's on sale y'all on sale and she She's got like, my people <laughs> she got so excited she was like oh it's on sale like she was happy and i was like oh and she's like yeah normally it's 70 and i'm like 70 and she said but it's on sale for 40 and i'm like 40 like oh. that still hurts I just couldn't imagine. Like, honestly, you're the last like, time I bought makeup was off of Timu, and it was like $1 or $2. You're like, clutch my pearls. That's I know. It. Like, the one brand of lipstick, and I think Shauna has ordered from them, too, it's the where it stains your lips. Those were like $20. And I really, really 
to think before I bought those. Like I was just twenty dollars for lipstick. Ooh, twenty dollars. Uh, twenty. Like I contemplated a good couple of weeks. I, I just couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. Uh, Shada said forty dollars. Do you know how much meat I could buy with that? Amen, exactly. Amen. Exactly. Oh yay! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the the Cafe Olay. Renee sent me the Cafe Olay H E B. Oh, that good? is good. Yeah, I do like the H E B Cafe Olay. Because then we sent some. I like the, the San Antonio one. Did we send some from the trailer to them? I don't know. I thought she did a review on it too. Well, Renee well. might have sent it to her. If I don't not, know. I guess we need to. Sorry for teasing you, Matreya. Well, I think Renee might have yeah. sent it to her. Uh, Mary T said, I'll post a homie, hummingbird video to the horde. Yes, awesome. please do. Because also, you know, it's cool. I remember, um, what's her name? Oh, uh, come on, click. Carl's wife, um, on the cruise. Oh, uh, Gail. Yeah, our friend Gail up in New Jersey. She has one now. She has Cam on her, uh, uh hummingbird or her bird feeder. So she's posting pictures and video all the oh, time. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so really cool. cute. Radical Geek said, one of my grandmas lived in El Paso. Uh -huh. I missed some things from there. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I would like to say, oh, yeah, that's cool. But I have only gone through El Paso once because, again, it's 11. It's over, actually, 11 hours from here. So we don't get there very no. often. <laughs> we, when we travel, we go the other way for some reason. We always go towards like, the yeah. side. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, Tweety Q, or we go north. Right. Tweety Q Cat said, I'm sick of that radical geek. $40. Nope. I'd rather just stay ugly. <laughs> you are not ugly. But yeah, I'm like, I don't need, I mean, the colors were pretty. She said it, and it's like these, like, uh, metallic. They were real pretty. And she showed the metallicness to it, like it was two toned and how to do it. And I was like, wow, that is gorgeous looking. Cause it really looks like those real bright metallic -y, like it was pinks and greens and stuff. I was like, that looks really nice. But then when she said 40, I was like, yeah, that's all right. I don't need to pay $40, right. but that's wow. what makes her happy. Right. And if that's what, you know, you live your own rich life and her rich your life, rich life. <laughs> and her rich life is, uh, is makeup. makeup. My rich life is soap and coffee. I had a coach and back in school said they called it, uh, women called it a uh, war paint. <laughs> Renee said, I always do my eyes because otherwise I look so tired, but not face makeup. Really? I've used a tinted sunscreen or a pore minimizer, but that's about it. So many changes in my face after my surgery. Oh, wow. wow. See, I probably do. I, you know, my problem is I squint so much with my eyes I always feel like when I wear eyeshadow, it looks weird on me because I'm not used to it. Well, and I squint, so yeah. I don't know how to do it with where it looks right. Uh -huh. Mary T said, "Sounds like most Canadian provinces. It's twenty dollars, twenty hours at least north to south, British Columbia, fourteen or so west to east, right?" Yeah, because that's where they, they don't have states that have provinces, right? Right. And they're all, from what I've seen on the map, they are pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, they do look big. Patty said, and driving West Texas is horrible I because it's more, ugly and boring. Yeah. Nothing to see there. Because basically, once you get, what is it, about two hours west of Austin or yeah. San Antonio, yeah. there's like nothing, y'all. It's what do they call nothing. It? We nicknamed it God's country. God made it and God <laughs> forgot about it. <laughs> But it, it, they said that you have to, like, I, wasn't there a road sign where it said, make sure you're doing this because people get highway hypnosis? Yes. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And I'm like, yeah, it, that highway hypnosis is real. Because, like, my dad was a truck driver, and he was long haul sometimes. And he said his trick to make sure he didn't fall asleep when he started dozing off and stuff, kind of gross, but he would reach up and start picking those hairs to wake himself up because it kind of hurts. Oh, I just start slapping myself. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay. Or I start singing. Yeah. That'll wake everybody up. Yeah. Uh, Sean said, I just made fruity cereal ice cream. It was so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. We made that. Yes. 
L. Strange said, has anyone tried making the KC fudge with keto brick? I was thinking the new Tropic with the fruity cereal. Ooh, Ooh that might go good. I have done, well, I've used the new Tropic to make frosty, but not with the keto chow. What I like to do, though. That would be good. Add some heavy cream. I'm going to melt ahead. the brick down, pour it off. You know, then the residue still in the uh, measuring cup. We go ahead and melt down the lilies. And that too, so it would kind of mix together. Yeah, yeah. Well, she said because yeah, Lily's no. doesn't sit well with her. Oh yeah. So that I would sense. think the new Tropic, but yeah. I would add like heavy cream yes. still. And I think what would happen is it would almost come out like Butterfinger. You know that yeah. same texture would be really hard and thick once you mix it. But I would try it. I I think that's a good good thing to try i mean we have a couple new tropic bars so we could mm -hmm. try that yeah. i mean do you want to do it right now while we're on camera no, no. we're almost done okay i gotta work tomorrow shauna said he thems are fighting words oh not oh. wrong if y'all agree mm -hmm. oh for uh saying she don't want us to come visit mm -hmm. sean said shell and i went to go see throw mama from the train awesome. oh that I was remember. their first date that's awesome that is adorable. That was a good movie. Mm -hmm. That was funny. Renee said, layers, a.k.a. mask, not for me. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Mary T said, but hubby at work. Uh -huh. We dated on the loading dock, smoking together for three years. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so cute. That's awesome. Johnny said, moisturizer, usually coconut oil and lipstick mostly. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Yeah, I forget about the moisturizer i have horrible skin routine so uh renee said especially butt soap i mean you gotta have the butt soap where did that have even it. come from i don't understand where it come from seriously i said it because i said the irish spring is my butt soap because i'm not going to use my nice soap for my butt i use the butt soap the budget soap <laughs> yes not going to use some high dollar nine dollar a bar soap for my butt my butt can just use the irish spring where it was like 50 cents a bar <laughs> i think that's a good so use of it. <laughs> you love it that's what i love about you. you're a you're a classy broad i know mary t said my sister makes the most amazing soaps oh, wow. oh, i want that lisa said butt soap laugh out loud i mean Renee said, with the correct picture pose, of course, of course. That was awesome. Y'all are throwed. Lisa said, Texas pecan. I do love no, that's a the really one I, good yeah. Texas pecan. That's or, the one you like from H-E-B, I remember now. Yeah, the H-E-B and Lola's, which is a Houston yeah. roaster, they do a really good Texas pecan. I do love Texas pecan, but to me, that is a, like a flavored coffee. Yeah. And you know what I remember later, Lisa? I was so mad at myself. Remember at the Mueller's market, there was a pecan booth that had pecan coffee. Oh, yeah. When we got home Sunday night, I was like, I never went and got that pecan coffee. I was so mad. Also, remember? And I was going to get the pecans and the pecan coffee, and I didn't do it. That's why we're planning another trip, if she'll have us. I was so mad. Shauna said, yes, Texas pecan is really yummy. It is. Oh, I'm going to have to get me some Texas pecan Almost tomorrow. Almost everything Texas is yummy. That's right. Yeah. Shauna said, I enjoy coffee from my friends' favorite local coffee places. I mean, me too. So I love trying local coffees. When we, when we come out, we have to bring our something. Well, of course. No. But, uh, yeah, I just realize or maybe it's just bones because i have gotten some flavored from, coffees exactly. i don't know i've got some flavor that i'm like eh, but the bones makes a really good flavored coffee you know what we need to take her sometime next time sean is visiting here we take her to take off because when they make the coffee there oh house. yeah it's a barbecue joint about what 30 minutes from us they make barbecue and um chocolate, chocolate and coffee all in right. house mm -hmm. They call the their place a craft Tory. Yeah. Radical Geek said, I like some flavored coffees. Okay. Well. Because well, remember, she likes, what's that one bit? You like all, all different kinds. He like, I want coffee flavored coffee. 
Right. You probably, I think you get into all the different beads of where they're from. And she I'm does. just like, okay, what is, is this a salted caramel? Okay. I want that. Right. <laughs> Renee said, nothing tops the maple bacon bones for me, but I just hate the price. Texan pecan is good, too. See, that Franken bones, that is freaking delicious. And my other favorite from them is the salty siren. Love the salty siren. But I think next week's, it's some kind of a donut one. The black bag. Where is the Fallout series streaming? I have I no idea. I Prime. That's what I heard. Oh, yeah, oh, here it I is. Go again. Dang it. Oh. What's going on? Let's see how this spells. Ooh, this smells really good. Mm, this one is apple cider donut. Wow, that sounds good. We'll see. Um, Betraya said, I'm into Fallout. Okay, I can see that. Um, so, Bones just released, I think today, the whole Fallout line of coffee. I think they have like five different flavors based on Fallout. So, you might want to check them out. The, the art looked pretty cool. And they have some mugs, too. Uh, Renee said, HB has a couple new blends with a chocolate pecan? A chocolate pecan? Uh, okay. Chocolate. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm going to have to go to H-E-B tomorrow. I want chocolate pecan. Is it the Cafe Olay or is it an, um, another brand? Let me know. Matreya said the TV show is based off the game. Okay, I haven't even seen the TV show. Uh, Shada said, yeah, but they stay and are worth it. <laughs> Patty said the H-E-B Texas pecan is my jam. It, yeah, it's really good. My voice is really starting to go. The pick I sent you is one of the new blends they just started stocking, the Dallas Fort Worth. Oh, let me see. I just saw DFW, and I'm sorry, as a Houstonian, when I see Dallas, I'm like, eh. Okay. Medium bodied with caramel, chocolate, and nutty pecan. I mean, at least they included nutty for Dallas. That makes sense. If you know, you know. Say you're going to Aldi tomorrow? Yeah. They go every Saturday. Go ahead and get some more um, um, egg life. Because we're going to do it and take that uh, meat mixture make tacos. Or, um, Quesadillas. Yeah. Okay. So the Dallas Fort Worth. That does sound really good. Okay. I'm going to get that tomorrow. So apparently I'm going to HUB tomorrow. All right. As well. Caramel chocolate pecan. Nutty pecan. Because they're. Dallas. This is the one we're working on. Yes. Is this bag? I mean, is it beans or ground? It's beans. Okay. I always, I prefer whole beans. Everybody else with me, or do you prefer ground? I like to get them whole and then grind them fresh. Rickwood said, well, I haven't heard the alarm go off yet, but it's after 10, so time to call it a night. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you on Sunday at Coffee Talk, Radical Geek. That's right. Have a good night, Joe. Thanks for stopping in. I'm sure you're exhausted. You've had quite the day. Oh, that's right. She had a family reunion, didn't she? Yeah. Basically. And Patty said, yep, time for me to go to bed too. Night all. Good night, Patty. Thanks for stopping in. Sharon said, I'm heading up too. We have a busy day scheduled tomorrow. Good night. Good night, well, what, Sharon. What do you think too? You should get some more um, coffee filters. You're almost out. Oh, yeah. Well, you said uh, the last time it was cheaper at Joe V's, wasn't it? Aldi. Uh, so you're going anyway. Tweety Cats at night, you guys. Good night, Lynn. If you're going, I don't know if you're going or tell them. That's the one I just added to the hopper for her. Ooh. You, just, you already know. Shauna said, my allergies are bad. As soon as I put eye makeup on, I regret it. What I think that's part of mine is my eyes still water a lot. And it, I don't know if anybody knows. Like, I'm very handsy on my face. Eyes? So I'm always like rubbing oh, my face and stuff. So I think that's part of the problem. Like if I wore tons of makeup everywhere, like it would just be everywhere. Uh, John said, hey, Renee, please don't ask me my personal question. I'm trying to flirt with Heath. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? John's wow. trying to flirt with you. Let's simmer down there, big boy. <sighs> 
Where did my mug go? I don't know. Tweety Cat uh -huh. said, no, no, I'm not going anywhere. I was saying good night. Okay, but thanks. Good. Uh, Renee said, oopsie, he, you automatically think it was me just being bad. I thought it was your name. <laughs> Shana said, all I can think is the Irish Spring and fresh and clean as a whistle, but so. <laughs> See what you started? That was your idea, Shelly. I love it because Shauna took it to another level. I don't know <laughs> if she went up or low. I'm just thinking, when I take a shower tonight, I'm going to be in there singing fresh, 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 so clean. So fresh, <laughs> so clean, clean. Thank you, Shauna. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Renee said, hmm, kind of like a barbecue joint. I know. And Rockport. I know. Yes, that coffee was really good, too. Yes. Was that in Stevie Lou's? Yeah. John said, Shelly, I got a nice recipe for next Friday. He's Rocky Mountain Oysters. Whoa. John. Whoa. That's, whoa, whoa, whoa. What that's just a bit happened? inappropriate. Oh, yeah. my goodness. What just happened? Look. Let's not do that. Slow down, Turbo. <laughs> Laura said, we are going to El Paso for Mother's Day weekend. Ooh, my mom is there. Been 10 years. Oh, that's right. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Now, how far a drive is that for you, Laura? Laura yeah. I'm thinking that's probably what, about 12, 12 to 14? Yeah. Yeah, that's are you a doing it too one much. Shot, or are you going to stop on the way? Uh, Shana said, I like to grind my coffee fresh also. Yeah, I agree with you, moderators. Was that? That was just a little little too too much on too the much chat. Dark? Yeah. To ATQ Cat, I hope you blocked that guy. Time out because said not to delete unless he was me. But that's yeah, that's a bit inappropriate. Yeah, that's crazy too, whenever um you're making us blush. <laughs> right, us. Uh I broke the host. 22. That kind of thing got real inappropriate on one of Dustin's live stream once. No one caught it. I sure did. We're going to learn more about you, 22 Key Cat. Yeah, sometimes, like, you know, it's okay to be a little jokey, but I mean, it could go a little one, uh, a little too far, right? You know, like, let's. Let's keep it, you know, there there might be children reading yeah. the chat, so we don't want them to read that kind of stuff. And demonetized. Tweet to QCAT said, no one noticed it. I mean, right. They didn't notice, but you did. You were like, woo, don't be saying that. I was watching another smart buddy bro, and he doesn't have any moderators. And he's got, like, I think 100K. Wow. But he has no moderators, which to me, I'm like, eh, control issues. But anyways, um. I was just like, and he, like, we at least put that you have to be a subscriber to chat, but he doesn't. And yeah, he'll get some people say, like, just rude, straight up rude, y'all, because he's an older black gentleman. And there will be some people that will say some very, I just love those very rude guys. remarks towards him. And he, you know, sometimes he's, you know, talking. And so he doesn't see it right away. And then when he finally does see it, then he'll remove it. But some of them he doesn't even catch because he's busy, you know, giving his information. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, sometimes people will say just the most rude things in chats. And, well, I'm, and most of the time those people will, will speak up like that on online, but they won't talk that way in person. Right. So like I said, they're internet tough guys. Well, and I don't know, like some of his, uh, because he's an older gentleman, right? He's explaining how he really made his money. Most of it was in real estate and everything. And some of these people, I guess they're younger and they're just like, oh, just another old man talking BS that none of us can do. And, and then things like that. Just being And they rude. just tuned in this one time and not like they haven't been there listening to his whole, uh, the whole background right. of him. Or they they are, which again, why do you keep showing up and then just want to hate? Now I'm just like, just who has time for that? Because when I watch YouTube, I don't have time. Like if something's not interesting to me or I don't like, I'm not going to spend my time listening, right. especially 30 minutes or an hour. Because a lot of his lives go for an hour or more. What's I'm that? not going to waste an hour listening to somebody I don't care about. What's you that know, one song though that's cool to hate. 
<laughs> right? But um, it sounds like the most of them folks need a hobby. Yeah, I don't get that. Oh, make sure y'all gave it a thumbs up, y'all. Yes, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, Twenty Cat said, "Oh, I get that. No worries. I just bet no one period noticed. Oh, wow. Not a slam towards you, awesome moderators. Y'all right? Yeah." Ashana and Renee are awesome yes. moderators. So thank you all for watching that. They're real good at like messaging me and everything. So thank you for doing that. Thank you both so much. But yeah, sometimes I think it's just hard for people always to see, especially if the chat gets really busy. And I think sometimes, and, and this isn't a, a ding or anything against our moderators. Our moderators are awesome. And I know that, you know, Renee's, you, you see how we play. Yeah. And so she's very good at catching on things like that. <laughs> I think sometimes some, some people are very, uh, uh, some people are, they, I would say flirt, but they say things in an innuendo. Uh -huh. And if the moderator or even the person who asked the chat, you know, they if they don't think that away, if they're more innocent, I would say they aren't gonna catch it. Right. Whereas I I I, I know I can speak for myself and probably Renee. We we have very uh vivid, dirty minds, so even it's hard if, to get an innuendo past us, if that if makes we, sense. Uh, yeah, a lot of times if I say something, I don't even mean it that way. So these two will take it and turn it that way. What is all this? Oh, Renee just sent me a... Uh, Screenshot? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, I'll, well, I'll have to hey, tell you hey, later. Hey. Uh, but, yeah, I I just... Uh, do I know this John? Or is he a new, but newbie? He's been on our lives before. But do we need to have a talk with this guy? I maybe John just don't. We don't need to be that flirtatious. Renee said so. I looked into his profile. He's been in two other lives, also flirty. So see, I told you, Heath, you're you're the you're the one that's grabbing all the people. Yeah. He always jokes. He's like, oh, people just watch for you. And I'm like, no, they watch because you're so good looking. Uh, and see the trouble we get into? So I'm sorry. Right. I'm the eye candy. Okay. I'm sorry that my husband is so handsome. He he brings everybody to the yard. Is getting deep. Uh, thank you so much, Renee. Sherry said, and the kicker to all is that he hasn't put on the lipstick yet. Well, he didn't get money. He has to get the money for the lipstick. <laughs> Venmo. <laughs> Shauna said, I might not have an end to window mind, but I pick up on creep vibes easy. That's true. See, that's why I have you, because you're like, ooh, no. Got danger, the vibes. Danger, danger. Twenty Key Cat, this is such a good group here anyway. We don't attract many trolls, thank goodness. Right. Ever since I did, and I know some others have talked. I think Jason says he doesn't do where he limits that you have to be a subscriber. But we were running into, and you might even remember this, there was a while when we first did our lives that we would get some inappropriate trolls that, that were mostly... They were probably just bots. Yeah. Well, a lot looking of it, for any live, and then they would post something inappropriate or a link or whatever. But ever since we did put on subscriber for one minute, we cut those out. A lot of it also back then was when I was still multicasting onto Facebook as well. Right. That's where I mostly got most of my trolls and comments and stuff was on Facebook. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I um, never really got that much on YouTube. Right. Well, we would have the lives yeah. sometimes because they would just come in and post, you know, S dot 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 yeah, yeah. E dot 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 yeah. X, and, and then they would like and, 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 and then go put, here for a good time. Right, stuff, yeah. right. But now that we do, where we limit it to only subscribers, right, it went away. Renee said, "My mind is always picking up stuff people don't catch." Right. I know. And Renee said, "He wants to know he oh." Uh, yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. No but I don't share Heath. Sorry. Heath is all mine. I'm not good at sharing. Uh, Shada said, yeah, I remember we were so busy back then, right? 
because they would. You would never know. So I'm glad that Facebook or Facebook. I'm glad that YouTube now allows us to do that because that has helped. I feel like a lot. Renee said, well, now he's even more famous for his spicy self and porky pig in it. Oh, wow. I mean, see, <laughs> he can't even be be uh, faulted because right. you're, you know, you're just so good looking. And then you're always talking about porky pig in it. I mean, that's what got me to you. Flirting with me on Facebook. Next thing I know, we were together. You're just a new Don Juan. Oh, obviously. Yeah. He's Juan. <laughs> well, thank you all so the much. The Juan and only. The Juan and only. Well, thank you all so much. Yes. But we it's do need time. to get to bed because he's got to work tomorrow. Yeah. He's not. He, he, he doesn't just get money given to him yet. He's not, not at yet. that point. <laughs> right. But That's thank a you. whole other after dark. But thank you all so much. Y'all are thank amazing. You, thank, you, thank you. And Renee said, but if someone wants to flirt while why Lorena Bobbitt style asked to cook his oysters, I yeah, that was that was a little strange. Can't have those. I don't share. Oh. <laughs> well, good night, everyone. Good night, good night everybody. Wish me luck. <laughs> Yes, have a wonderful weekend. We'll catch everybody on Sunday. Matreus Coffee Talk, which is now at 5 p.m. Central. Before that, we have our 12.30. Oh, and yes, we will have our 12.30-ish live for his MS Journey. So make sure y'all tune into that. Oh, Laura said it's a 16-hour drive, but they're going to fly. Oh, good. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> oh, you're nice. I only got it because you two got it. If I didn't have Renee and Shauna, like, no, it's because of y'all. Thank right. you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Have Thank a you. wonderful